right, all right. Looks like, sorry guys, we had a little bit of technical difficulties before the stream starting. Sorry about that. Welcome, sorry for the delay. For some reason, it was not starting up on YouTube, and I, I don't know what the issue was uh, with it starting up correctly. But now we, we, are, we are here. We are here. We are ready to go. Um, we are here, ready to go. Welcome to the stream, guys. OJ here. Welcome back to another stream today. We got a fantastic show for you guys. Uh, some of you guys are saying no glasses. Guys, you guys know I have 2020 vision, right? The glasses are simply... For blocking blue light that's all they are they're not they're not prescription i don't ever wear them except for when i'm here that's the only time i wear them when i'm streaming but today i'm not wearing them just because there's no need no need to wear them no need to wear them uh the lighting in here actually uh does a good job of uh you know not making it to where there's like you know where there's issues um, with the uh, with the like with my computer screen, so I don't know. I found like less reason to wear them, but you know I might not wear them more. Or I might still wear them. I don't know. Um, so yeah, decided not to wear them today. Um, shout outs to Justin with the twenty dollars. Let's go. <laughs> Sent you the awesome background I made. All I right. You in the chat will enjoy all the Easter <laughs> eggs in it. Okay, that's that. Okay, this is good. This is good. Definitely, this is good. We we gotta definitely check out the uh, the uh, the thing. We gotta check it out. Shout outs to um, my man Justin. Thank you so much for the support, dude. I appreciate that. Let's go. Uh, how does everything sound and look? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I just got it because I actually had it up. Um, because I thought you sent it beforehand, but but you just sent it now. Let's go. All right, we got to change the background, boys and girls. We got to change it. Uh, before we get into it, though, I want to say what's up to everybody here. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream. Appreciate. Also, shout out to Skyler G. Thank you for becoming a member. To Skyler G. Shout out to Justin. Thank you for the $20. Udobudos. Super JoJo. Okay, is today actually JoJo? Is today actually Friday, guys? I think today's Friday, so we can actually have, like, JoJo Fridays, right? Like, we can actually have JoJo Fridays. So, let's go. <laughs> we can actually do jojo fridays today um unlike where i tried to say it, where i incorrectly said it was jojo friday yesterday thank you for the support though appreciate that justin i'm gonna get your uh your new i'm gonna get your what's it called uh, your background as well uh in here thank you for the support dude i appreciate that let's go um thank you so much for the support all right so i accidentally i accidentally clicked like i said i'm having so many difficulties today with the tech wise everything's just not responding as fast okay now so let's pop it up so that's the scavenger thank you for the tune in tier shout outs to jacob dressback with the membership as well thank you so much jacob dressback appreciate the membership appreciate that guys i think we're on five at the combo count justin with the big um 20 coming through first all right let's get um let's get this background put in though <laughs> This should be a good one. This should be a good one. All right. Right now we have... I got to check this out here. We got... I'm going to go ahead and change this to... All right. Yeah. We've got a bunch of uh, stuff here that you, you guys are definitely going to want to see. So... But unfortunately, I have to make sure that I transform it first to where it can actually fit the screen. All right. There we go. So we've got a pretty nice background. We've got the Kirby... We've got the, the desk... Uh, this is the background I should have. <laughs> we've got, we've got uh, Dragon Balls. We've got... Shout out to Justin. This is actually hilarious. We've got the 40S in the background. we got the, the 40S. we got the Matthew Shiningan earrings. we got the Kirby. got the Mario in the back. Mario Bros. 3. Tanuki Ma or Raccoon Mario. Dragon Balls in the corner. I don't know. I can't see it because it's like, um, hold on. I just want to, okay. We got Chrono Trigger in the background. <laughs> we got Chrono Trigger in the top, uh, top over here. Chrono Trigger. We got Shin, uh, Shin, uh, SMT5, uh, Amiibos, um, uh, Monado. Uh, I don't know what that is, but there's something up there right over here. <laughs> 
Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles in the back. It's pretty nice. Oh, Samus' gunship. Old school player essence logo. Old school player essence logo. Let's go. Fire Emblem Engage poster. Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom Switch. Fire Emblem Awakening. Um, box. Kirby plush. Uh, yeah. I probably missed a few Easter eggs and things, but it's not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it, Justin. Shout out to my man, Justin Hokage and Stream Ninja. Also, my man, Jacob Dressback. Thank you for the gifted membership as well, dude. Appreciate that. Let's go. Let's get, let's get your name up on the board. <laughs> all right, let's go, man. Guys, I'll answer your Switch 2 questions in just a bit. Just calm down, all right? <laughs> Let me just get through. Let's have a little bit of fun before we start getting peppered with the Switch 2 stuff. Uh, don't worry, though. We'll answer it. We got some other stuff to go over. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. You missed Nahobino and Peach plushies on the other side. I didn't. I said I said the, I said the Nahobino and plushies are right there. I, I didn't miss that. I said that. <clears throat> um, I, said, I said we got plushies. Um, I said SMT. I said SMT plushies. Uh, I said Monado. I said the Amiibo. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah. Hey, what's up, Christian? Um, what is good, uh, guys? I have not worn a hat before. This, I, I mean, I wear a hat a lot, but there's been plenty of times with me without a hat. It's not that uncommon. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's, it's I, I get it, but it's not that uncommon. There's been plenty of times where there's no hat essence. Um, some YouTubers that are usually practical are saying possible switch to announcement this year. Yeah, that's pro that's it's that's possible. Um, you can't really cannibalize something that's on its way out. So if they announce it this year and it's launching early next year, then it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see here. I don't guys. I don't have prescription. I don't have prescriptions. I don't know. I don't. I have 2020 vision. The glasses that I wear, those are not prescription glasses. They're they're blue. They're computer glasses for blocking out blue light. They're not prescription. I have 20/20 vision. No contact lenses. <clears throat> Think the engage poster gets too much hate. Engage is awesome. Um, reading glasses because I'm 50. Yeah, you need once you hit 50, you need reading glasses. Or once you hit 45, how about that? Soon the chat coming gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's your office. I I, I hope not. I hope not. The shout outs, let's go. <laughs> this was awesome. Uh, let me go through the shout outs. I gotta get through everybody uh, with the shout outs as well. Anthony Cooper is here. Bead Queen, Starry Meadow. Caitlin and Justin says, Stale. Shout outs to Justin. Thank you for the big 20 earlier. Yoshi with the five says, Who are you and what have you done with OJ? Crazy. No, you, you, you guys are being silly. You guys act like I've never not worn a hat on stream multiple times. This is ridiculous. This, this is ridiculous. Some of you guys have been around for a long time. Y'all know good and well I've done many streams without a hat on. Y'all acting like I've never worn a hat. I've never not worn a hat before. Thank you for the $5, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, let's see. Just admit it. Uh, you just got out of bed. Nah, I didn't just get out of bed. Nah. My hat's right here. And I was actually editing today. So I don't know how I could actually just get out of bed when i edited a video and it went up like an hour or so ago so i mean i don't know did i wake up edit a video go back to sleep wake back up and do this i don't think so because <laughs> i just got done editing a video and just got done posting it on the channel and it wasn't scheduled and it was not scheduled <laughs> let's see i wish i had 20 20 vision couldn't find my glasses to wear uh, i had to wear contacts oh man Justin with the Send five. A spoiler message about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 on Discord that I thought was funny if you think about. All right, let me see. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's a kind of a spoiler message. I ain't going to say it, but yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> they said that in the art book, too. They were kind of thinking about that, which was hilarious. Um, shout outs to <laughs> the message was pretty funny what Justin sent me, but it's kind of a spoiler, so I'm not going to say it. Oh, um, but yeah, <laughs> shout out to Justin. Appreciate that. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, the five extra at the 25 on the count. My man, Justin is a top in the stream. Hokage, 
Let's go. Playing Sonic Mania. <clears throat> this is my evil, OJ's evil twin, but my name is Francis too, so that doesn't make any sense. You'd have to, you'd have to make up a different name. Um, <clears throat> let's see, hi OJ, Saturday morning here at um, OZAU. Break the catch the live. All right, shout outs, let's go. Jaden with the shoot in tier pledge, let's go. Thank you for the shoot in tier. And Crystal Ball C with the 36 months. Appreciate that. Shout outs. Thank you guys for your support. I got to start wearing no hat and no glasses more often so you guys don't think I'm a whole different person. Like, Even though I've done it multiple... Well, glasses I usually wear, but hat, I've done it multiple... There's been multiple times where I wear no hat. So You don't got to always wear a hat. Sometimes you got to, you know, not wear a hat, you know? The other guy, the, day, the, the, the guy yesterday was like, show your airline. So where's he at now? Where's, where's the weirdos at when you... When you need them, you know what I'm saying? Cause like the dude thought that I was, I had no hairline like, at all. Like it was completely gone. It's not completely gone. It's we still, we still okay. We still not too bad, you know. So, <clears throat> hey, happy belated shout outs, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, shout outs to uh, uh, Jaden and Cristobal. Thank you guys for the memberships. Appreciate that. Um, let's see, RJ, I was going on a counter. Argue your judge, your statement on being gaming being stale. Let me hear you got. I think gaming's kind of stale right now. Like gaming right now is kind of stale. John put up a poll that also asked about gaming as well. And is it kind of like in a rut? It's kind of stale right now. Run ahead, back with the John John. No Hat Friday. No Hat Friday. We we out here. We out here today, and No Hat Friday. I gotta move this up because now we have like that that meter. We gotta move this up here. Okay, there we go. We gotta make this smaller too. We gotta make that a little bit smaller. Make it a little bit more smaller. All right, there we go. A little bit more smaller. <laughs> I didn't fix the. I was trying to fix the JoJo thing before the stream started. I could not fix it. Uh, but shout out to Renna. Thank you for the big JoJo boys and girls. Let's go. Thank you for the big ten dollars. That gets us to oh my god. Oh my god, we are already there. You guys know what time it is. Let's go. But that thing will not it seriously like it will not work. The combo breaker, it's like it's just like saying screw off. I don't know. The stream deck updated and it messed it up. So I gotta redo the whole thing. Um so yeah. Says the beer is on point, man. What beard oils can you recommend? All all beard oils are actually pretty good. Just go on Amazon and find a good, like, find a whole kit that gives you, like, the whole, like, comb and brush and all that stuff, you know. But this is actually the first time in a hot minute that I, uh, when I went to the barber, like, I actually told him to, like, line my beard up and everything. Like, so I usually just don't. I usually just trim, do a little bit myself, but I'm like, man, I'm good, you know. I'm just gonna <laughs> not do that today. Let him do it. Justin with the $10! Can I get an actual good Sonic Frontier song? No cap. Quest. No. Nope. SOS backup. No. No. Okay. Okay, guys. Listen. JoJo Fridays. Y'all know what it is. JoJo Fridays. You drop that JoJo. You get multiple song requests. So, Rena, let me hear it. I need to hear some songs from you, young lady. Justin, you've already dropped multiple donos. I need to hear those songs from you. You said Sonic. You said what? Sonic. Sonic Frontiers? Oh, yeah. We got some Sonic Frontiers. Music for you, Justin. Thank you for the big 35. Justin out here already running it. Appreciate you guys coming through. Shout out to the new Elite Ninjas as well. Appreciate you guys. If you guys have your questions, this is Freestyle Friday. This is JoJo Friday. We out here. We just chilling. We hanging out. Ask your questions. Talk about Switch 2 stuff. I'll start layering in the new Switch 2 and Metroid Prime 4 situation. Um, things that are happening as well. So I'll start talking about that. Sonic Frontiers. Um... Uh, I don't know. Combat. Man, I played that game one time and then turned it off. I was like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I said, I'm, 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 I'm good. Uh, uh, I'm good. Is Find Your Flame good? I don't know if Find Your Flame's good. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. What's a random anime you currently recommend? I don't have any random animes that I currently recommend. I, I did just start... Jujutsu Kaisen though, uh, so Kaisen or however you say it, I just started that. It's good. Uh, 2D Sonic hits. 2D Sonic hits. Favorite water brand? Nah. 
Um, I just drink regular water, just like from the fridge, the filtered water, or just, I think my wife, she drinks Aquafina, so I buy Aquafina for her. Um, <clears throat> Metro Prime 4, Kingdom Hearts 4, the only games I'm looking forward to uh, now. Dang, you need to open up your horizons, buddy. Justin with the dollar says, I put the song, it was, oh, you put the song. Oops, my bad, I didn't. See, Sonic music is so weird, I didn't know. SOS backup. Okay, that's the actual, I thought you were asking for SOS backup. We need help. We need help. Somebody find a good Sonic, modern Sonic. <laughs> I thought that's what it was, Justin. <laughs> oh, man, dude. <clears throat> Let's see here. Was really Nintendo's plan like gaming be so still end up literally no choice but to play thousand thousand year door? Uh, I don't know if that was their choice, but thousand year door is lit. Like thousand year door actually makes things more exciting. Like gaming stale right now, but Thousand Year Door is lit. Like when Thousand Year Door comes out, that's more exciting. So, <laughs> so that's part of that's part of it. But I guess what I think what you're saying is like, yeah, there's not enough new games to that's exciting enough that you got to go back and play a game that you probably already played or beat or that's not even new. That's like 20 years old or something. So, so yeah. <clears throat> um. Gaming is stale because companies not being like how they were in the past. Inflation, tax, in, uh, increase certain games not being the quality that was paid for, etc. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Uh, Hexer, um, Princess Peach Showtime flop. The game come and gone. Is print is Princess Peach Showtime flop? I don't know what that means. You mean it didn't sell well? No, it's still selling. I don't know what come and gone. Uh, come come and gone. What does that mean? Like if you look at all the sales numbers. Or you look at all the sales, uh, what's it called? Tracking sites, Amazon, uh, UK sales, Japanese sales. It's still selling like in the top sales numbers. So uh, I don't understand. I don't understand when people say something flop and then they don't have any sales numbers to actually back up any of that. <laughs> oh my God. It's weird to me. <clears throat> but hey, whatever. Um, clean backdrop. This is the this is the player essence office. This is how my office is supposed to look like. It's high quality office um high quality office um hey what's up the great wild welcome what's up nor what's up Jaden? uh what's up Streamlabs? what's up uh switch switching it up getting into the stale part of my backlog i know we need to all attack our backlogs right now we need to all attack our backlogs with the quickness uh a thousand years says i wish i had 2020 vision couldn't find my glasses i had to wear uh, i had to wear contacts yeah man it happens it happens, bro. It happens. Uh, let's see here. Hi, OJ. Saturday morning here. Okay, I already, I already read that. It's Christian Me World's here. Rena's here as well. David V with the lucky uh, seven. I hope your day is going well today, OJ. Hey, hey, man. I cannot complain. Shout outs to the Twitch fam. Shout outs to the YouTube fam. Shout outs to my man, David V. Big David V in the chat. Let's go. Thank you for the thank you for the seven. Christian is here as well. Gaming is stale right now. Gives my wallet time to breathe and my backlog time to lose some weight. I yep. mean, shrink. Yep. No, I, I agree. It's not all bad. Just because gaming's stale right now doesn't mean it's all a bad thing, you know? Like there's like there's time to catch up on the backlog. There's time to do other things, you know. Shout out to Party Man with the five! How has your Friday been? I'm definitely feeling the staleness, even though Showtime and TTYD are lit for me and help get through this time lol. Also not sure why people saying flop for Showtime when it is selling good. It yeah. is not gonna sell insane but solid. Yeah, I don't I don't know what people are expecting. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like the UK sales is still in the top 10. US sales, Amazon sales, still one of the top games in pretty much most regions. Um, you look at Japanese sales still in the top 10. So it's selling right around where we all thought it would be. Probably probably be like a two to three million unit seller. Uh, lifetime to date. Uh, when it finally like when it's all said and done. So yeah, I don't I don't I don't get where this flop stuff is coming from. But it was never gonna sell like Pokemon or something like that, or like 3D Mario. Maybe that's where it was. Um, SMT music. Alright, I got you. SMT music. Um here we go. We're going to play the Sonic Frontier song, then SMT next. SMT4, 
battle theme after that. SMT for no the boss battle. We're gonna play this again. The Sonic music. My hype for Stellar Blade. Yeah, watch my videos. I've talked about it multiple times. Uh, Gustavo, what's up, Gustavo? Welcome to the stream. My backlog is gonna be on life support until I'm 80. Just bought Mega <laughs> Mega Ten Musashi. Nine years in the shadows. Mega that game's not out for the West, like localized, right? The, or is that you bought the Japanese version? Didn't have enough characters in my dono. Can you play uh, more Showtime music? I can. I'll play it after Rena's um, after Rena's request. Thank you so much for the five dollars, party man. Appreciate you, brother. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hold up. Let me see if I messed up on the count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I definitely messed up. I'm, I'm off by two. Uh, we're at 16 on the combo count. Thank you guys for your support. I don't know how to count. And combo breaker. Let's go. Shout outs. I appreciate that. 16 on the combo count. Extending the stream to 16 we're actually almost like we're pretty much where we were yesterday already we're at 17 on the combo count uh for the whole stream so we've already actually hit that or pretty much hit that thank you guys for your support um did you know that eating chronicle 100 heroes they got pushed to may on switch did it really i did not know that i didn't see that anywhere um but did that happen did that just happen because i did not see that um i did not see that I got a PC copy of the game though, so I'm good. I'm, I'll be I'll be playing it like very 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 soon. Um, Justin with the three dollars. Can I get Counter Strike from P5 Strikers? Also, I have been playing Budokai Tenkaichi Three and Kirby Air Ride. It's wonderful. <laughs> Going back old school, Budokai and Kirby Air Ride, man, classics, right? Two banger classics. Thank you for the another three. Justin up to 38. Anybody that does 38 or more, you can type or pass up Justin on the Hokage board. Shout out to Justin as well. Stream Ninja as well. Let's get it. Um, also, you're getting Endless Oceans. Nintendo will probably send me a review copy for Endless Ocean. The Luminous game. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Very recent change. Went to pre-order the game at GameStop now. May 21st release date. Same as Best Buy. Pre-orders. Uh, let me double check because I did not see that on, um, it might just be the physical copies. Uh, I don't think that the digital version is still, is still there. Like the digital version. Yeah. I think the digital version, uh, let me see here. Um, but the physical versions were always maybe going to be a little bit later than the digital version. So I don't think it was an actual like, official delay because you're talking about like physical version, right? Cause I didn't see anything, um, with, uh, with the game being like websites would have reported on it right um so let me see here give me a second even chronicle 100 heroes um digital deluxe okay hold up there might be hold up give me a second this is just 2024 yeah there might be but nobody's reporting no websites are reporting on it which is the weird thing yeah, it's, it's just saying 2024. Yeah, no websites are reporting on it. No, the release date says April 23rd, 2024 on Nintendo's website. So, I don't know. Um, it looks like the digital version will still be released then until we get an update. But it's still saying April 23rd, 2024 for the um, for the digital, at least minimum the digital version. So, yeah. No actual delay for the game. Um, just uh, physical is coming a bit later than the, than the digital. <clears throat> Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's get this next theme up. Um, <clears throat> next theme up. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know about five underrated IPs that deserve more love, man. I, I don't know, bro. Right off the top of my head, I'm not really sure. Y'all start naming some, then I can, I'll can. i agree or disagree with those. Uh, yeah, Chemical Plant Zone's awesome. Shoutouts to Rena. Um, Shoutouts, appreciate that. This is just for physical, digital, still coming out at the same time. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I I figured that it wasn't like a worldwide delay, because I would have heard about it if it was. Like that would have been like the new, like it would have been up on the news. So I figured that it was, um, I figured that it was just like physical. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm fine with the down year. It means 2025 is gonna go crazy with Switch having it. A lot of great titles. I mean, like. We're gonna see, man. Like, I think that like with this gaming being in a rut, it it's combined with something that we talked about yesterday. 
like MVG made a video discussing um, discussing like why games back in the day were better, right? And a lot of it had to do with the systems being different, so each developer had to make the game for the platform. So when you get a game, it all just kind of feels like PC. Everything just feels like, oh, it's a PC game. You know, unless it's like a certain indie or something like, or a game that's been specifically crafted or built, you know, or even like a game built specifically for PC. But a lot of these games that are coming out just kind of feel like all the same. Like they're just built for PC and they're just ported over to consoles. Nothing's really built for the consoles anymore. Um, you know, even like the identity of like systems, like look at Microsoft. It's like all their first party releases are just studios that they bought. You know, it's not necessarily uniquely them, you know. So I think that's the problem right now that we're facing. And once again, Nintendo's Nintendo's in a little bit of a Nintendo's obviously transitioning to their next system. So we're not getting the, the like the lit Nintendo directs and the hype and like okay, yeah, this big big game's coming, all this and that, you know. So so yeah, uh, shout outs to uh, Joshio E one ten says today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. Today, today is your birthday. Today, you got to make sure you tell me twice it's your birthday. It's so your birthday. That's how I know you're not lying. <laughs> shout outs to Joshio. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, man. I appreciate that. And happy birthday, brother. I wish you, the player SS community, we all wish you a very, very happy, uh, healthy birthday, man. Seriously, happy birthday, brother. Uh, Punch Out, Geist, Eternal Darkness, Pilot Wings, Dylan, Fossil Fighters, Golden Sun, Cubivore, F Zero, Disaster Day of Crisis, uh, Kid Icarus. You miss Kid Icarus, but yeah, those are all underrated IPs that'd be nice to have them come back in some way, shape, or form. I agree with all of that. Um, I agree with all of that. Oh snap! Let's go, David V with the Uramoros. Ah. Can Let's... you play Abandoned Beach from Kirby and the Forgotten Land? I can't. Slightly smiling face. Can I? Can I? I absolutely can. After some Princess Peach music. Princess Peach uh, Showtime. Uh, After some Princess Peach Showtime music. I definitely can. Yo, shout outs to my man. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to play something different. We always play the same Princess Peach Showtime music. We're going to play something a little bit different. Justin with the five. I hate to say it, but I'm probably going to save up for some future giveaways and sponsored streams. <laughs> so I probably won't do any big donations. I will still donate just no huge ones right now. Bruh, Justin, you've donated enough to last a whole lifetime, bruh. Don't, you don't ever have to worry about it. I appreciate it. So I appreciate your support like always, Justin. You, like I said, you've done so much, man. And you've already donated for a bunch of stream, like live streams and things like that, brother. So I appreciate you 100%, 100%. Let's go. You guys give some big love, man. Like always, Justin, I appreciate your support, man. Um, hell, if you didn't donate ever again, I'd be like, dude, still the same, man. You still the homie. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching. This is free entertainment for anybody that wants to watch. You just got to pay your internet bill or you got to steal the Wi-Fi from somebody or you got to use the McDonald's Wi-Fi. But this is always just entertainment for you guys to watch. If you guys want to support, I appreciate it. You know, so for anybody that does, I appreciate that 100%. Um, thank you so much. And let, also, let me get my man David V on the board as well. David V tying up Justin as the stream ninja. Hey, let's go. Um, it says new house looks crazy, my G. Yeah, I know. It's looking pretty good, right? It's looking pretty good. <laughs> it's looking, looking, looking pretty good. I mean, you know, I like it. Um, my my new house, my new place is crazy because like not only can it like you know can you like I can like instantly instantly like change rooms like instantly just boom out of nowhere the room just changes. So I mean that that's the cool thing about this uh, new place, bro. It's just. I can instantly change offices in the in the blink of an eye. Yo, uh, Anthony Cooper with the four months says, Justin, you are the GOAT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. GOAT status, baby. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, I don't wear contacts, guys. And my glasses that I wear, they're just computer glasses. They're not 
prescription. There's no prescription in the glasses. Um, there's no prescription. They're just computer glasses. I have 2020 vision. No contacts. Um, I would love the song that sounds like Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. Uh, Prince, how do I enjoy the new Prince of Persia game? I liked it. It was good. Check out my review on the channel. I, I reviewed it earlier in the year. <clears throat> There's a new league going around that shows Nintendo's next system UI. New Cuphead game and the name Switch 2 is Nova. Is this legit? UI looks clean. It's definitely not legit. <laughs> That's definitely a fake. That's definitely fake. <laughs> Let me know where the source of the rumor is and we'll look at it together though. But no, it's definitely fake. <laughs> Let's see, is Nintendo furious about Delta emulators? Kind of sad. Gamers prefer pirate Nintendo games. Nah, people, I mean, gamers don't, most gamers don't even care. It's just a bunch of people that just decided to show it off. Like, it's smartphone. Nobody's playing those games on smartphone. But no, Nintendo, they don't care. And nobody actually cares about playing games on a touchscreen. Playing classic games on a touchscreen. It's just, enough, like, a large number of, like, vocal minority that decided, oh, I'm going to show it off today. But... Man, they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> they ain't trying to play like sit there and play Animal Crossing on a touch screen. Uh, need to stop the cap. <laughs> need to stop the cap. What's up, JB? Welcome. Um. So yeah, issue with modern Microsoft and Sony is that they're all power and not much else. What made console games fun was gameplay, not cutting edge graphics. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that. A lot of the emphasis is kind of put on that and not put on the actual gameplay, you know? Um, let me get this next track, though, for my man David V. Let's go. Shout out to the Joe. Actually, hold up. I messed up on JoJo's, too. We got to count those because I messed up. All right. Hold up, guys. We got JoJo rewards coming in, too, when I when I revamp all this, which is I am working on it. Um, but I got to get my, my stream deck to actually work with my... Um, with my uh, combo breaker stuff because that, that's not even working now. Uh, one, two... Uh, three, four, uh, five, six. All right, six. My bad, guys. Shout outs to the JoJo boys. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's get 200 plus viewers in here. All right, let's get 200 plus viewers in here. But you got to hit that like button if you want that to happen. Um, uh, let's see here. But shout outs to Justin. Appreciate you, man. Uh, David V, uh, you wanted Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, abandoned Beach. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. All right, that's going to be a banger. That's a pretty good track. I like when we get good tracks. Um, <clears throat> I like when we get good tracks. Nah, casual audience goes absolutely insane for old Pokemon games on the phone, especially uh, iPhone users. Nah, not really, bro. <laughs> most most iPhone users are don't don't care about playing old Pokemon games on a or on an iPhone. Nah, it's just a set number of people most people don't care nah uh let's see here you think uh more games should actively utilize docking and undocking for delivery gameplay mechanics no that doesn't sound like a good idea you have to physically undock undock your switch to play a game like to do a game and play mechanic no what if you're lying down in bed while playing oh that's ridiculous oh uh, do you think 2024 will flop for video games it's not a flop it's just a little stale I have a few leaks from from Insider First. Prince of Persia, Santa Time Remake is coming at the end of this year. Is that it? Okay. I guess. Sure. Um, so YouTube is hiding my chat, but I can't. No, you can't send a link. Just tell me where the link. Just tell me where or, or send it to me on Twitter. Um, but no, YouTube will not allow you to send unless you're a mod. Unless you're a mod. So, Tom, send me the link on Twitter. And I can I can look it up, tag me on Twitter like on my most recent post with with, with where you got it from, and we can investigate. Um, OJ believes in is legal Nintendo handle games. I, I just don't I don't listen. I don't care what people do. He was asking me whether I think it's some type of major thing. And oh my God, Nintendo's fear. I don't think so. I mean, they do the same thing that they always do. If they can take that ish down, they'll take it down. If not, it's like whatever. But it's not like that big of a deal like i don't care if people are playing old ass pokemon games on their iphone i don't care i don't like i don't like phone gaming so i don't care if people are playing emulators on their phone i don't care if people are playing emulators period it's, i don't care go play whatever the hell you want it's not <laughs> i don't care you know 
It's not, and I'm not Nintendo legal. So, like, Nintendo legal, they can handle it. That has nothing to do with me. I don't care. Personally. I'm just, you guys want me to keep it a buck. Everybody's always looking to try to get, like, act like they're some type of bad boy if they play a damn emulator. It's like, oh, oh, look at this. It's like, whoa. It's like, who cares, man? Play your game and be... We been, people have been playing emulators for a long time, for like decades now. Just play your game. Why are you showing it off like it's something important? It's not. It don't, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like the clout, the clout chasing around this is ridiculous, dude. Just play your little game that you probably aren't even going to actually play. You're going to boot it up, say, wow, nostalgia. And then you're going to turn it off and never turn that ish back on. I already know how people do things, bro. So that's the reason why I just dismiss it. Like, I don't People are just doing things just to do it because they think that there's some type of breaking the law. Like, oh, Nintendo's not going to like me if I do this. <laughs> they just do it for clout just so they can say, put it on, post it on Twitter and think, think that they're cool or something. I know how it works, bro. I've literally seen people say they're going to do that for clout. Like, it's a very common thing to do. Nobody cares. Like, nobody, like, legitimately cares. <clears throat> oh, let's see it. <clears throat> So, uh, what's up, OJ? Playing PS2 games definitely stale. Um, <laughs> playing PS2. Beat Unicorn Overlord 160 hours. Waiting for Union Chronicle. Hope it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be... I think it's going to be good. What's up, dog hair? Don't care. Welcome to the stream. Um, <clears throat> thank God the season's dry because I need to catch up on Triangle Strategy and Nier Automata. Both are incredible games. Yeah, both are really good. Uh, I sent on your recent Twitter post. All right. Something tells me you're the same guy that I banned before once, Tom. Something tells me that you. Something tells me that you're the same Tim Dimmers. I, I don't know. I don't know. Something tells me that. But let's see. You said on my most recent post, you might be. It seems. It seems like you might be that same dude because somebody did the same exact setup before. Let me see if I already have you blocked or muted on 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 Twitter. I might. Um. Okay. Yeah, you're the same guy. You're. You, I, I think. Yeah, you're the same dude. I got you. You're the same dude. <laughs> oh, he says what? Okay, never mind. Maybe you're not. My bad. Okay, let me see here. Oh, okay, it's this fraud, Jonathan Bark. No, this guy just this guy is a complete fraud. He did the same thing with the Nintendo Focus. No, this Jonathan Bark guy is a complete fraud. Every now and then, he <laughs> he makes no. This guy's a fraud. He did this before. This guy's a fraud. This guy's a fraud. Uh, Dark Card with the Jow Jow. Friday. Can you please play Iceman from Super Robot Wars Alpha? Iceman. Hitting him with the Iceman. Yo, let's go. JoJo boys. Dark Card in the house with another JoJo. What's good? Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is, this is a, this is a fake. <laughs> this is Nintendo Nova. <laughs> Hey, let me show you guys this nonsense, bro. This is so fake. God, this is so fake. This is so fake, bro. This is so fake. Let me show you guys this real quick. Hold on. Let me let me fix my green screen real quick. Uh, actually, no, I can't fix it. Oh no, actually, I can fix it. Uh, give me a second, guys. Let me let me fix this real quick, and then we'll we'll get into this this uh, we'll get into this nonsense. Uh. <laughs> Uh, we'll get into this nonsense in just a bit, so, uh, alright, hold up, let me see if I can see if it's actually fixing the, the left side, okay, yeah, it is, so it's, it's adjusting, sorry guys, I'm still getting used to this green screen situation, like, with multiple scenes, like, you gotta, each scene is, like, a different one where you gotta adjust your green screen, depending on, like, where you're positioned on, on the camera, so my bad, don't worry, get a live, live stream maker, we got it, alright, here we go. Okay, there we go. That looks better. All right, guys, let's check this out. Shout out to my man, um, Dark Card. I appreciate. It. We're gonna get your music going in just a bit. Nintendo's next system will officially called Nintendo Nova. <laughs> I share. I will share more information in the future. Stay tuned. I also have to answer questions you may have. The system will launch Spring 2025 for a price of 499 dollars Nintendo. No Look at this fake Nintendo. Look at this fake Tears of the Kingdom teardrops, bro. This is so fake. <laughs> Cuphead flashback. This is so fake. This is such a fake. He just made this. He 
just made this. He just took... There's already things where you can make the Switch do this, right? Like, like where people have already customized it. That's all this dude did. That's all he did. This is fake. He took the same icons, the same everything, and just layered it on top. <laughs> Nintendo. He moved the icons from below to up here. Same default. White dude me. Uh... Sonic Wildfire? What the hell is Sonic Wildfire? <laughs> reusing, reusing, um, um, what's it called? Models that they've already used. Sonic Wildfire, Nintendo Nova, bro, get out of here with this fake nonsense. I forgot which one I'm on. I think I'm on this one. Sorry, guys, if it's messed up. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, that's fake. That, that's that's fake. That is 100%. I'm pretty sure it's the same people that are trying to get me just to bait me into talking about this nonsense. You know, this Jonathan Bark guy is a fraud. He admitted to being a fraud too. He just, everybody just forgets him, you know? Justin Nova? Sent a background to raise some height. <laughs> All right, I got you. Let's go. Paper, oh, never mind. Let me not, okay. Maybe Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, let's get the next track. Shout out to Justin with another $3. Let's get the combos on the board, baby. Thank you for your support, Justin. Like always, 23 on the combo board. Let's get the 46 on here as well. Uh, but yeah, this is fake. <laughs> this is this is this is completely fake. This is this is so fake, it's funny. Uh, let me get this next track though. Super Robot Wars Alpha uh, Iceman. Appreciate the support though. Super Robot Wars Iceman. Let's go. Uh, the Iceman in the house. Boom. Thousand Year Door. Luigi's Mansion 2. Hype. Ready to rock. Ready to roll. Let's go. Nintendo Nova sounds like it needs to be in a Yu-Gi-Oh match. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, what's up, Superpower Man? Any new update on Metro Prime 4? Yeah, there was a technical director that put up a post talking about their work on the game completing or something along the lines of that so we should see the game being announced um probably this year who's your favorite nintendo youtubers i don't have any favorite nintendo youtubers they're all they all suck um <laughs> they're all trash if you want me to be honest they're all kind of garbage um garbage i tell you garbage but you know what's not garbage my, my latest video um, my latest video for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, let's check that out if you haven't seen it. Let's go. <clears throat> Video's right there. Um, <clears throat> RGT's my favorite Nintendo YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, if you guys, I mean, listen, if you guys don't want to stick around to actually chill and hang out and talk about a variety of different things and ask me questions, if you only hear for like one thing or all that. You could just bounce, bro. Just just leave. This is supposed to be a cool hangout system where we chill. We talk about games. You want to hang out and talk about stuff. But you're only here for one thing. And then you say, oh, he only talked to you. already talked about it. I'm only here for that. Bro, just leave. Just ask me again. If you if, if you missed it, just say, yo, OJ, what's up, bro? Can, can you talk about it again? Why you got to be all corny and shit? Goodness gracious. But yeah, just leave, bro. <laughs> If you don't want to hang out and chill and talk about it and have a streamer actually interact with their audience where I give you full attention, bro, just leave. Um, RGT's your favorite Nintendo YouTuber? Definitely my favorite Nintendo YouTuber. When I don't get to watch any other YouTubers, if every other Nintendo YouTuber disappeared, then RGT might be my favorite one. You know? Uh, then he might be my favorite one. Hey, what's up, Zenji? Welcome. Nintendo shelving Prime 4 just like Star Fox 2, maybe 20 years on Switch Mini, we'll see. 20 years, Switch Mini, I feel you on that one, brother. 
At the bottom of the Dunnit YouTuber trash is Mike Odyssey. <laughs> there you go. Hey, shout out to Mike Odyssey. Appreciate you, brother. He says, why so mad? I'm not mad at all. I'm just saying it's corny, bro. Like, we got a whole bunch of topics. Somebody said, did he only really? Just ask me about it, man. It's just weird. Like I said, it's you'd only understand if you were a streamer. Like, you know, but I'm not upset. Dude can ask me a question. If, if, I, if he missed the news, just ask. I'll answer the question for you. Um, let's see here. Dude, Switch Mini Micro would be lit. Yeah. Not really. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Anto GB? Welcome to the stream. Do you think Luigi's Mansion 2 is worth 60? If you never played it, maybe. Yeah. If you like the online, yeah. If not, then no. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's up, Shaw X? Welcome to the stream. What's good? So let's see here. If you don't like seeing your games, yeah, a micro would be lit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like mini consoles and all that. So I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I get them. Like, I get why they're made. But I'm not like a huge fan of mini consoles. Like, I like the actual console. Like the actual console itself. You know, I'm more of a fan of that. I'm just funny. Some people were like, Tom, guys, seem to believe that the fake leak is real. It's this, dude, it's the same dudes that have done this to me with, with the Nintendo Focus. It's the same people. It's the same, it's probably the same guy. He's probably the same, it's it's he's, it's just the same dude saying the same thing. That's all it is because this this has happened way too often. The Nintendo Focus thing happened is, it, and it's the same Jonathan Bart guy. So that's how I know all these people or person that is doing this, they're all connected. They're all connected because this is this exact same thing that happened with Nintendo Focus last year. People just say, look, and it linked to Jonathan Bark. And it was like the same weird sock accounts that would come here and say, look, look, look. You know, so nah, fam. Nah, not, yeah, exactly. Uh, not again. It's the same nonsense, bro. This is just a bored, unemployed graphic designer. <laughs> Uh, just wait, Luigi's Mansion 2 going to be full price? I mean, it's been, it's been available for pre-order. It's been available that it's going to be that for a while now, Robert. So, do you think that there's a chance we'll see Pro Controller revision for the next Switch system? Hoping they fix the D-pad. Well, they already made a bunch of revisions to the current, uh, to the D-pad on the Pro Controller. The same D-pad from the beginning isn't the same, uh, that's like right now. Like, so if you buy like a Tears of the Kingdom one, it's a little bit revised from like the original, um, Pro Controllers. Uh, but I mean, I'm guessing that they'll probably make a new pro controller to be honest, or they'll just they'll just revise the the same one, but they'll just revise it maybe a little bit more. But you won't be able to tell the difference. Um, so yeah, but we'll see. Uh, second leak is that uh, Nintendo, The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, also coming to the Switch OLED and the next Nintendo handheld successor console. Wait, who said that? Where'd that come from? Where, where's the source of that leak? That leak. Where's the source of that leak? That's what I want to know. Nah, I ain't keeping up with that uncultured. Unfortunately, I bet there's some YouTubers that actually believe the fake leak. Too. There's nobody actually believes the fake leak, bro. Nobody believes that. They just it's just clout chasing. There's no actual, um, you know, belief that that that's like, oh my god, you know. Um, so, so no, absolutely not. Got some weird bots blocking me. Or sorry, not blocking me. Trying to add me, quote tweeting me and all this nonsense. Should I play Xenoblade 2 or Torna first? Go in order, Skylar G. Go in the exact order that they released. So that would be Xenoblade 2 first. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, Xenoblade X deserves a remake. I don't know about a remake, but like, you know, obviously like a nice remaster or re-release would be nice, but... A remake would take way too long. I mean, it's a Wii U game, so it's already in HD, you know? <clears throat> so. Let's see, Hound Successor, who told these fake leakers these were good ideas, fake leaks? These fake leaks are ridiculous, dude. They're absolutely insane. Um, <clears throat> absolutely insane. I think Mario Mario dude accidentally pressed on his phone or something. Uh, Mario Mario dude, where, what is he saying? I didn't see what he said. Nintendo Nova. Um, uh, maybe 
Unfortunately, I bet there's some... Uh, all right, I read that. My bad. Hey, what's up, Glenmore? Welcome to the stream. Um, so, yeah. Welcome, welcome. If you guys have more questions, let me hear them on JoJo Fridays, boys and girls. Can I actually bring my mic over? I can I actually bring the mic over? But then it, it, it gets in the way of the uh, the chat. Then you can't see the can't see the chat. Put it down in the way. It's okay. Put it down in the way right here. Uh, what if they made a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles X? They could definitely make a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles X. That is possible. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Um, I'm just dying to know what Monolith Soft is doing next, man. I'm just dying to know what they're doing next. I really hope. That they do something cool next, you know? PS6, PS6 is going to be a hybrid then? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I doubt it. Um, I doubt it. We need a Luigi's Mansion refinanced. <laughs> refinanced? Okay. Uh, sounds good. Uh, what's up, Cosmic Naga? Naga! I'm doing good, man. How are you? Um, welcome to the stream. I get people love their Zelda, but why are, there, uh, why are they so certain that Wind Waker 12 purchases are going to get Switch remasters? We already remastered them on the Wii U, and there's so many other GameCube games. I don't think it's going to be re just like a port. Probably not even a, like a real like remaster, because the game's already been remastered in HD. So I, I doubt that it would be like a full like high-end remaster for Wind Waker 12 purchases. It would just be like a port. I mean, plus they've already ported over a bunch of other Wii U games. So that's why people are like, well, those are really good games. Just port those over too while you're at it, right? So I don't, I don't think it's an either or between like, we either get, you know, Wind Waker or Twilight Princess or these games. It, it seems like it would just be something that they would just do, you know, just because once again, it's already, it's already in HD. It's already on the Wii U. Importing from Wii U to Switch isn't necessarily, I mean, that hard. Like, it's hard, but it's not that hard, you know. Um, you see, people want Zimba Chronicles X sequel for years, but I think it's probably going to be like an epilogue similar to Future Connected. I don't know. I think I don't think they're gonna do something like Future Connected at this point, right? I, you know, for Xenoblade Chronicles X. I mean, I doubt it. But I mean, if they did, it'd probably come with like a re-release of the game, right? So like Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So they re-release the game, maybe update the visuals, and then like yeah, and it's like maybe like, oh yeah, like you said yeah, Future Connected. Sorry, I, I thought I thought you said Future Redeemed. My bad. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Future. Yeah, it'd be something like Future Future Connected. But you'd have to spend a bit more. Future Connected was just like cut content that was already kind of like in the original game, but they just cut it out. So they'd actually have to spend some more time on that. So yeah. Um, let's see here. John's no glasses thick. No, I don't have guys. I don't wear. I don't wear glasses. <laughs> They're computer lenses. John has a prescription. He wears contacts. I do not wear contacts. I do not wear. I have 20/20 vision. So if I don't feel like wearing my glasses, my computer lenses, that's fine. It has nothing to do with my vision. So don't put me in the same boat as John, all right? He wears contacts. I do not. No contacts. 2020 vision. Um, 2020 vision. Uh, let's see here. Um, but it's all good. What's up, Dave? Um, the, the source came from, in from inside the companies that my friends give me and share what's going inside the industry, gaming industry. I don't care if no one believes me. I always share legit and real news and info. All right, sounds sounds okay, Game Warrior. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what's right. <laughs> Some of that, uh, but full fledged game, yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. I'll wear my glasses tomorrow and my hat tomorrow, since you guys seem to think nobody can wear anything. They gotta wear this the same hat and glasses forever. Otherwise, there's a problem. So I'll wear my glasses and I'll wear my hat. All right. Look, you guys want me to wear a hat? I'll wear it. It's right here. Like I, it's 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 right here. I can wear the hat. You guys happy? Hats on. Like, hats off. Hats on. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where can I get computer glasses? Amazon. Um. Amazon. Just type in computer glasses. Yo, Jens, JVB, JVB with the two euros. Says doing my first 3D game in 20 years using Godot. Yo, what's Godot? That sounds cool. I like Godot. It sounds like I would like it. I don't know what that is though. But you know what I do know? What I do know 
is that we've got one of these! Combo breaker, combo breaker, boys and girls. Combo breaker, boys and girls. Let's go. Get the ones with the yellow lenses. Um... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> nah, I'm good. I don't. I do not need the ones with the yellow lenses. I used to have those though back in the day. Like when I first, my first, my first computer glasses that I bought, those ones had yellow lenses. Um, hey, what's up, High Garden Marlin? Just, uh, just gotta work. Been playing around with iPhone Delta. There, you got those iPhone Delta people, emulators. I'm good. Uh, I'm glad you're having fun or messing around with it. Um, any GBA recommendations? Pokemon games, like everybody else. Uh, Golden Sun, like everybody else. Metroid, like everybody else. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Luna says, I actually think you look very nice without the hat and glasses. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Fire Emblem games, like everybody else. Nah, have fun with it. Have fun with it. Um, have fun with it. Have fun with it. I just don't care about old, crusty games and emulators. I just, I don't, I just don't care. I don't care like that, like, like other people care. Um, because I've already played all the games. But your boy did emulator stuff back in the day. I used to do it back in the day before I even knew like what was right and wrong or whatever the case is. Uh, so, so yeah. Right down, it's morally correct to flex your emulated Nintendo ga uh, a Nintendo game. It's just, it's not even morally correct. It's just it's just like I said. It's like fake. It's just people looking for clout because they know they can get like likes. Because like if you say that you're emulating like a PS2 game or something like that, nobody cares, you know. So it's and it's because Nintendo's so gung-ho on emulation if nintendo wasn't so crazy about it then people wouldn't even, people wouldn't even talk about it like that you know but yeah it's just it's just cloud at this point um kuru kuru kurin kurunin it's a pretty dope puzzle game chibi on nso i think i tried that game out for a second um let's see here nintendo youtubers when they see a fake leak it's time to farm views yeah that was a fake leak. Nintendo Nova? <laughs> that's such a fake leak, man. Oh my god. Uh, that's such a fake. It, it, it's fake. It is uh, super fake. Uh, what's up, Izzy? Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Um, Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. There you go, High Garden. Check out Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. Um... Dragon Ball Advance. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Welcome. Just got back to the shop. Driving back from Michigan to MN. Driving all day. Man. Driving all day. Michigan to... That's a long... It's a long drive, man. It's a long drive. You know? Definitely a long drive. I don't know if I wanted to maybe do less on the chat box. I'm going to see real quick, guys. Give me just a second. We got to... We got to... We're making adjustments on the fly. Box. We can do box, but we're gonna do how many comments though? Um, oh, okay. I think it doesn't. Basically, it just does as many comments as it wants. The box. Yeah, it does as much as it wants. So, yeah, we can't really change it. That's okay though. <laughs> but we can change the font size to twenty-five make it a little bit bigger um let's see third lake is dragon h4 will be soon be announced for next gen consoles and for future consoles download the game or purchase the disc january 20 2025 jan january month all right sounds good game warrior <laughs> sounds good man that sounds good <laughs> Uh, nothing wrong with that though, man. Nothing wrong with believing what you believe in, you know? Um, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All in the name of preservation. All in the name of preservation. You need to preserve it. Make sure that nothing happens to it. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, why you oh, why you title gaming stale? Because it is, man. It's just stale. Right now, there's no hype with... Nintendo's next big upcoming games right now. There's no Microsoft decides to not release games Microsoft says uh, 
We don't need to release games regularly. We can just drop games when we feel like it. So Microsoft doesn't feel like actually making like games. Sony is just buying everything. They just see third party games and say, oh yeah, we like that. They're just buying third party games and releasing those, you know? And like I said, Nintendo is just like, eh, we got a next system coming up. So it's just stale right now. It's like, it's not hype. And none of outside of Nintendo's presentations, like, Nobody actually gets super like like when you after you see a, a, a Microsoft presentation, people just say, "Oh, it's good," but it's not. It's not the same. The hype levels just aren't there. I don't know. There's just something that's not the same as it. It's like when you eat the off-brand stuff, or when you get the off-brand stuff, and you just know that there's just something off um, with the off-brand. You know, so. I don't know, man. So right now, it's just, it just feels a little stale. Feels a little, it feels a little stale. You know? This is for me. I'm sure Endless Ocean is very relaxing, but I'm sorry swimming around and looking at fish doesn't ex excite me. To know them get Paper Mario. Because Paper Mario comes out the same month. So uh, There's different games for different people. I, I didn't say that the gamings are, like, games are boring. It's not, it, it, like, the games are good. Like, there's going to be a lot of good games coming out so i mean like if you don't like endless ocean you don't have to like it there's there's a lot of different games for different type of people some people are excited for endless ocean some people are not some people like puzzle games i don't like puzzle games some people like survival horror games like alone in the dark i don't like games like alone in the dark you know but that doesn't mean it's not good that doesn't mean it's not it shouldn't exist it's just different games for different people but right now like i said it's more of like the type of games that are coming out like everybody's not firing on all cylinders on all cylinders you know uh, let's see here. Shout out to Justin. I'm dying. I sent another image. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Question marks. A lot of question marks. <gasps> and shout outs to the cool guy with the Udo Oh no, my God. No, 45. Udo Boodles. How's it going? Wanted to show some support today. Yo. You sound tired today. No, I'm I fine. I got everything I need to today. So we ready to rock and roll. No, I'm Just fine. trying to get ready for the night. But I'ma get you a major art update soon. Okay. Dealer's choice for music. Okay. No, I don't. I sound fine. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's. I'm not sure. But I. I don't think I sound tired. I don't think I sound tired. But um. But yeah. Maybe I'm not pitching my voice as high as I usually do, just because I feel like not doing that today. <laughs> Maybe that's it. But no, I'm not tired at all. I'm fine. I got plenty of sleep last night, and I um, and I ate. I ate good chicken, protein. Um, so yeah, everything was good. Um, everything was good. Everything was good. <clears throat> um, shout outs to my man, Justin. Thank you for the big $3. I'm going to get that mes message in just a or image in just a bit. And shout outs to the cool guy with the big $45. That does make you the stream ninja. Almost the whole Kage. But Justin did it. Justin, Justin's at the 49. We got JoJo's too. 45 on there i put we got to put another point on there though we gotta put another point on there 11 on the jojo board we got to change this to 45 anybody that's 45 or more you can beat up my man the cool guy thank you for the support and thank you for that nice very nice message on twitter i saw that message on twitter man thank you so much for that message on twitter dude i appreciate you seriously thank you for that support 32 on the combo board. You guys know what time it is. Let's go. All right, we got another message. All right. <laughs> I want to shake your hand. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand. You, yeah. I want, I want to shake your hand. <laughs> you can't see the shake your hand, but right here, it's there. It's the it's all of the different uh the notific the dono notifications. You got JoJo Fridays. You got I wanna shake your hand. Which which I don't actually have come up anymore because when I, I, I messed it up, I can bring that one back. Then you have put your dollars in your pockets. <laughs> and you have the uh 42 for the $42 dono propane. JoJo's. We got uh, Toby Blaster, and uh, we also have just like a straight up JoJo, right? Um, hold up, let me not run over my cable real quick. Hold up, sorry guys, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna run over my 
My cable here. There we go. Uh, and then, yeah, just JoJo. Just got JoJo's right there. JoJo voice. JoJo! Shout outs to Justin. Thank you for that, man. It's the guide. It's the guide to OJ's stupid stream. <laughs> it's the guide to my stupid stream. <laughs> Thank you so much, the cool guy. I appreciate the 45. Like I said, anybody does 45 or more you time in one singular dono, you can pass them up on the streaming board and get some music. You guys have not been requesting music for those who drop donos. Get your music requests. And remember, JoJo Fridays, you do a JoJo up, you get more than one track. So, Rena, you only asked for one track. I need another track, Rena. Let's go. I sound stale. Let's see here. Super Masses could be the quiet before the storm. It is the quiet before the storm. Mom, get you Yoshi with the two says, shake my hand. I want to shake your hand. Mom, get you oh, my God. Aaron with the 10 gifted Mom, members. What is going on here? You guys are blasting. And with the 10 gifted? Oh my god. Dude, thank you for the freaking elite ninjas. Oh my god, that's very nice of you, dude. Holy smokes. 10 gifted members. And Yoshi with the two. He wants to shake everybody's hand. I'm going to shake your hand. 43, 44. 44 on the board. Crazy. And also, David V with the seven. Do, 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 do. Lucky seven. Can you play XB3 Kevis Colony Knight? Can I? Mom, get you Can I? Can I, David V? The elite, the one and only? Mom, get you I definitely can. Man, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is so good. See, that's the type of hype I'm looking for. I'm looking for that type of hype. There's no Xenoblade 3 hype. Anything as big as that. I bought the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 art book a couple of days ago. Woo! Took a look at all of the artworks and the interview articles. Oh. And yet, they're really nothing much that mind-boggling aside from what has been said on the internet lol. There's some pretty big revelations in that book. There's some, based off of... There's some pretty big things, you know? There's some pretty big things. Yo, what's up, Abaddon? Welcome to the stream, brother. Shout out to Aaron! Not to be confused with Ethan becoming the ninja gift bomber of the stream. Let go! Shout out to the cool guy. Appreciate you guys. 10 gifted. That is incredibly nice of you, Aaron. Not to be confused with Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Ethan. Oh, appreciate you. Look at all the new members we got. Ten. Propane. Propane and propane accessories, Aaron. Um. Before. Oh, oh, all right, Game Warrior. I appreciate you, man. Got you. Got you. We always welcome Xeno music. We always welcome the cool guy. Shout outs to you, the cool guy. I appreciate you. Shout outs to Justin. Shout outs to Yoshi. Shout outs to Minato Mario with the three as well. Let's go. And the Shimmy Breaker. Oh, and you guys give a big Elite Ninja happy birthday to my man Avadon. Happy birthday, Avadon. Avadon Smith, it's his birthday. Um, so make sure you guys give him a happy birthday in the chat as well. Um, give him a happy birthday. Sandland? Nah. Uh, there is, but we already know. I have read through the interview. Um, uh, Saito and uh, Chico, the two Zubay Chronicles 3 artists, discussed the design difference between Zubay Chronicles 3 and 2. I can understand now. All right. Can you play the main theme from Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising on my second track? Yes, I can. Dark card, you awesome dude, you awesome dude, you. I absolutely can. Grand Blue, Fantasy, Versus, Rising, main theme. We right after this. JBB, this hasn't been real. Xenoblade 3 hype since Xenoblade 3. Let me try to think. 
Tears of the Kingdom. Like, that's the only other game for me personally where I was as hyped as that. Like, where I was like, oh, snap. I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait. Like, that's the only other game. Like, Rebirth, I was hyped, but I was skeptical. Like, I was I was hyped. I, I, I was like, yo, this is going to be good. But I was a little bit skeptical. I was a little... And, like, some of my... Some of my things that I felt would be the issue with the game definitely became a thing, you know? Um, but, you know, it's still really good. But I haven't been as hyped for, like, yeah, Xenoblade and, like, Tears. Those are, like, the only two um, that have been able to match that level. Like, for me, there's been a few games, like, Mario Odyssey, obviously Breath of the Wild, Pokemon Legends, for me... Um, because that was just something different, um... Um... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Xenoblade 2, um, Xenoblade Definitive Edition was hype, but, like, not as hype because, like, I already had beat the game. Um, Torna was hype, Future Redeemed, yeah, Future, okay, hold up. There's been two since it'll play Future Redeemed. Future Redeemed, and yeah, that was hype. That was hype. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I started Xenoblade 3. Uh, again, never beat it the first time uh, I owned it. Have you beat Xenoblade 1 and 2 first and the, and the DLCs with those games? Well, you don't need to. Have you beat Xenoblade 1 and 2 with Torna? Um... Shout out to my man Abaddon. Happy birthday, though. Xenoblade 3. Oh, the Xenoblade 3 Direct was awesome, but people were complaining like, There's like, it's too much. Why? So something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Picture day being announced the week before the release was crazy. The time. Oh, my God. It was. I was like, Oh, it's coming out. It's next week. And then I remember me and Dior on, on Twitter. I was like, I was posting him the meme from, I forgot what that show was, I think like American Chopper or whatever. I was posting the meme, I was posting, release it now! Because Nintendo, like the day came and Nintendo did not release it right away. So I was like, release it now! Release it now, I need to play it now! Release it now! <laughs> That's the only time that I actually like trolled their account on Twitter. I was like, release it now! If you don't release it, I'm going to have cross problems. Yeah, that was crazy because, like, the Fire Emblem DLC came out. It was, like, what else? There was uh, uh, Advanced Wars. It was, like, just, like, a bunch of stuff. And then, like, Tears came out, like, a little bit after that. So, yeah. Uh, it, so, let's see it. Stealth announced Noah Mio Amiibo. Yeah, that's good times, man. We need... We need that, man. We if one thing that this has taught us is that we absolutely like the industry absolutely needs like Nintendo to kind of be out there like doing some stuff, you know, and like actually having some some lit, you know, games and all that, you know. So yeah, yeah, good times, <laughs> good times. Do you predict Fire Emblem Engage will go up in price in the future? Yeah, it was in my buy now before Rare videos. So, yeah, I definitely say pick it up. That's just based off history. Like, most Fire Emblem games end up becoming rare for some reason. So, yeah. Fire Emblem's always a no-brainer to pick up any Fire Emblem game physical. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I see... I see Advance Wars being one of those games that, like, down the line, people end up buying it a lot. Like... It got cannibalized a bit, but I see it like the physical, any physical copies will get snapped up. We have a lot of people skip Xenoblade 1 and 2, which is crazy. Yeah, you can't skip Xenoblade 1 and 2, man. None of the games I've beaten. Why would you play Xenoblade 3 before you play Xenoblade? Like, what is the point of playing Xenoblade 3 before you even played Xenoblade 1 and 2? There's direct story ties to the first two Xenoblade games. You're not, that's the reason why you didn't finish the game the first time. You don't care. <laughs> like, you don't care. You're just looking to, like, hit people with the sword or something. Guys, when you play Xenoblade, you need to be invested into the characters and the story and, like, what's happening. The game doesn't make sense. If you just start going in there and just start... It's auto-attacking, too, so... Yo, that's it with the Urobudos! Ah! 
combo breaker here is the awesome dono for you my brother the cool guy is going to send another potato picture to your twitter account happy friday great stream so far here's an awesome dono let's Music go choice goutland dark legacy main theme yes sir yes sir yes sir shout outs to that set one half of the dynamic duo the dudley boys my man that set and the cool guy always dropping love and support on the channel and encouragement for me to keep going so thank you so much i appreciate that so much thank you thank you thank you for the support guys shout outs to the cool guy shout outs to that set love you guys man appreciate the support appreciate it like crazy let's go 13 on the jojo board 48 on the combo count let's get it um it's funny when they had to blur that one hero icon on the selection screen that was a new secret spoiler hero something yeah i know but it really wasn't anything what's up Juan, mr juan sanchez although we don't know when that that video was cut together so it might have been a spoiler before and then it ended up not like you know sometimes like sometimes stuff like that happens glad rebirth lived up to the hype for me the only thing that gets my hype now is uh, trails of games yeah i'm happy for you man i'm happy for you i, I think rebirth is good but my hype for Rebirth wasn't like, oh my god, it's the most going to be the craziest theme ever. So my hype for Rebirth wasn't even that high to be, like, it wasn't as high as that to begin with. So, um, did it live up to what I thought? Yeah, it, it lived up to what I thought. But my hype wasn't, like, super, super, super crazy for it. I knew it would be good, though. I knew it would be good. Which it was. It was good. Rebirth is really good. I still need to beat the game, though, to be honest. I'm lagging behind beating it because I hate the mini games. Like, I, I'm a completionist. But I hate the mini games in that game suck. Like they're they're like legitimately garbage. Um, I really don't like a lot of the mini games in, in, in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They just like jam packed them with crap mini games. Like there's a lot of there's good mini games, but a lot of them suck. The bird flying, the chuckable flying stuff sucks. Um, the I mean that one mini game like where you're sitting there on like the command board. That game's kind of trash. I mean it's alright, but it's kind of garbage. Um, so, yeah. Um, so let's see here. Xenoblade and Fire Emblem, my favorites. Uh, oh, and Zelda. Fire Emblem, Xenoblade, lit. Pick up those Walmart gaming deals. Yeah, I picked up, um, I picked up, uh, I got, uh, what's it called? Diablo for 20 bucks. Diablo for 20 bucks. Uh, you didn't give me an answer. I don't have to give you an answer. What the hell? <laughs> what game warrior i don't have to i don't have first of all wait a minute time out time out i don't gotta give you an answer i saw your comment i didn't feel like reading it i mean i didn't give you an answer so what what's your point um that I'm not going to answer it, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> that I'm not going to answer it, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm just being stupid at this point. <laughs> I keep hearing about the Trails of... I, I wanna, I'm going to get into Trails of Daybreak. I think that's the one that's finally going to get me to get into it. So, so yeah. That's the one that's finally going to get me to get into it. So, we'll see. Don't, don't mind me, 50-year-old man doing stuff like that. Don't mind me. Age is just the number. <laughs> All right, let me get, did I get some, I need some more music right now. I need to get some new tracks. <clears throat> Uh, next up is uh, Gauntlet. Dark Legacy. Uh, main theme. Have you played Baldur's Gate? I think BG, that's Baldur's Gate, right? Baldur's Gate 3 already? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's uh no <laughs> no i ain't playing no damn Baldur's gate 3 i ain't playing it game's not my type of game 
Uh, let's see. I saw the deal for Diablo for 20. Seemed too good to pass up. Yeah, I got. I picked it up. Uh, what's up, Matt? Welcome. He says, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't playing Baldur's Gate 3. There's too much too much bald and not enough gate, you know? <laughs> no, I ain't playing Baldur's Gate 3 because it's not my type of game. Like, I don't like all that D&D, &D, you know, like, I don't like all that D&D &D stuff. I'm not a D&D &D fan, you know? Um, I played D&D &D before, like the old school pen and paper D&D, &D, and I've played games that are based off D&D, &D, but... D and D is it's just not for me. It's just like that type of gameplay, that type of rolling dice, and you know, you know, all that type of stuff. I'm good. There's just nah, I just don't feel like playing it, you know. But uh, but yeah, no, it's a good game though. It's it's a great game. I know it's like award winning and all that good stuff. You know, I know it's like hype, and I get it. You know, for the people that you know like that style of game. So, so yeah. Um, hey, what's up, Paul Gale? Not a fan of D&D. Yeah, the CRPG stuff. Yeah, I, I respect it. I respect it, but I'm just not a huge fan. You know? I respect it, though. Respect it. Respect it. I respect it a lot, actually, you know? You see crazy Falcom fans? No, Jay, you have to start with Sky, Sky Trilogy crossbow arcs on the PC before daybreak. <sighs> God, see, that's why I don't even play any of them. Um, let's see. It's funny because RPGs come from D&D. &D. They do come from D&D. &D, but I'm not a fan of the D&D &D style of RPG. But yes, the birth of the RPG is from D&D. &D. That is 100% true. But I'm not a fan of that style of RPG. Um, I like the other styles of RPGs. But yes, you are 1000% right. RPGs... The whole birth of the RPG genre is from Dungeons and Dragons, the original pen and paper-ish from like the 60s or 70s or whatever. So that's true. But, but I'm not a fan of that type of game. Like I can play it. Like if I play Baldur's Gate, I could probably play and be like, okay, cool, you know. But I'm not just, I'm not going to sit here and spend like 100 hours in Baldur's Gate. Like I just don't feel like dice rolling and all that stuff. Like, um, you know, so, so yeah. Let's see here. Uh, I'm on chapter 13 of Rebirth, and I'm ready for it to be over. I need to set aside some time to just play. But right now, like I said, nothing is just exciting for me right now. I need something. I need something lit. I need something that's gonna get me back into it. You know. So, uh, so yeah. Um. <clears throat> Um, Stellar Blade. Yeah, Stellar Blade is coming. That's true. Stellar Blade is coming, and I'm excited for that. But, like, I know it's limitations. Like, I don't think Stellar... Stellar Blade, to me, isn't as lit or as hype as, like, Tears or, you know, Fire Emblem for me. or Like, just for me. Not that the games aren't better than those games. Stellar Blade could be the best game ever made. Whatever. Um, it's just not as hype for me. So my hype is already in check. I'm not sitting here and overhyping Stellar uh, Stellar Blade like it's some type of like you know 9.5 or 10 out of 10 game. And then when I get it, I'm like oh you know I'm already expecting like a just a good solid good you know fun game, but that has a lot of the tropes of the open world games. And it's not really gonna do anything that's going to blow you away like from a gameplay standpoint. But it's going to combine a lot of the great things that you know about like Souls games or like action games or like open world games. Um, and all of that and combine it and be a nice, you know, a nice game. So that's kind of how I feel about that game, you know? Um, so yeah. Yeah, we need Model of Soft's next game. That'll get me excited. And it's because kind of true game is recommended to play the series in order. Three games though, just too many to play and finish. Yeah, I probably won't play it then. What about the upcoming Warhammer Space... Space... <laughs> This man said, Warhammer Space Marine? I'm sorry. I can't play no game that's called Warhammer Space Marine. That just sounds too generic. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> is the guy, are they bald Space Marines? That used to be the thing back in the day. You play as a bald Space Marine. But, uh, no, nah, I can't play as no, I can't play a game called Warhammer Space Marine. They gotta change the name before I play that. Change it to something more lit. That just sounds... That just sounds like, I don't know, like maybe racist people also play. <laughs> I'm 
No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not serious, guys. Don't take it that way. If you play it, that doesn't mean you're a racist. I mean, and besides, it's not like people don't, it's not already like that anyway. Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty is the number one, number one for racist people. Call of Duty. Um, so, uh, let's see, you're probably not a finished game, third game, incoming. I want to play, like, the No Rest for the Wicked. That seems like a pretty cool, you know, action RPG. It's like No Rest for the Wicked, like, indie slash double A, high-end double A, you know. I kind of want to play that game, but it's on, P it's early access PC. I'm like... I don't know. I still have the bad taste in my mouth from freaking Power World. Remember Power World? <laughs> I don't even know what happened, bro. I swear my body got like snatched out of me. My, my soul, my mind. And for a little bit, I was in like a Power World trance. I'd just be like playing Power World like a zombified state. And so literally it hit me like a, like a, like a, like a truck. I was playing Power World and I went over to like one area and I think like a, a big old bee blew me up. And then I went back there and then it blew me up again. And then I went back there and then I beat it. And then I started beating that area. And then I just said, this isn't fun. And I just turned it off. I ain't turned it on back since then, bro. Not because I was getting blown up by that bee. Just because it's such a bare bones, nothing to the game. I'm like, I'm wasting my life by playing. There's, I'm getting... No value out of this game anymore. So I just said, I'm done. I just dropped it. I'm probably going to delete that ish off my off my hard drive. Uh, so I'm done. Power World, what's that? Yeah, I remember Power World, bro. Uh, remember Power World? Cancel him. Clip that to be canceled. All right, it's happening, bro. It's already happened. I'm already canceled. Let's do it. Uh, what's wrong with Power World? OJ fell into the Power World trance along with... Yeah, I fell into the Power World trance. But then I realized, man, this game is not for me. I don't like it. So, I stopped playing. Power World had some good ideas. Fun when you tweak the settings. Yeah, I ain't tweaking nothing. <laughs> I'm lazy as hell now to these days. I ain't tweaking nothing. I ain't tweaking nothing. I ain't tweaking settings. I ain't tweaking... it. No, I'll tweak some stuff. But if it, it's like... I don't know, man. Power World's cool, but, like, the thing, Shinra's, I don't got any friends. Like, I don't got any... You got, like, good friends to play with. I don't got any real friends like that, so... And even if I do, I get frustrated, like, playing multiplayer with people. It's like... I get too frustrated. The problem is that I'm old. I think that's the biggest problem is that I'm old. It's like, I got no more patience for nothing. No more. Like... That's the biggest problem. Uh, Huddy says, Power World seems like a soulless game, if you ask me. There's some, there's some soul in it and what they're trying to do with some of the mechanics, but yeah, it's a lot of borrow, borrow, borrow from everything else. You know, it definitely looks like a Pokemon random of fire. You know, I, I, I think they used, I, listen, I can't prove it, like, but I think they used AI to create power, like to create like all the pals. Like I think they used AI to create most of them. So that's where it's kind of feels a little bit soulless like the i the, the designs are way too similar to pokemon not that it matters like in terms of my own like gameplay like but it makes it feel like non like it makes it feel cheap whereas like something like nexomon nexomon is like a pokemon clone but it don't it don't feel or look like pokemon you know like it, it don't feel like pokemon like when i say it, i don't say oh look at this off brand knockoff it's like oh it's its own thing you know and like same thing like with Yokai Watch. Yokai Watch, it's not a Pokemon clone, but obviously Pokemon inspired, right? And like I don't get that feeling with Yokai. I don't get that feeling with no other Pokemon clone. Power World is the only game, like only Pokemon. It's not a Pokemon clone, but the only game inspired by Pokemon where I feel like, man, like this is just feels really off, like with the with the designs. Temtem is the same way. Like, I never felt like, oh man, that's that's Pokemon, even though I kept on calling it Pokemon every single time. But that was different though. Um. So, yeah, midlife crisis right now, bro. That's true, Shinru. Midlife crisis. Uh, I don't look old. Looks can be deceiving. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about my age. Once I, if I, when I die, then you're like, oh, man, he, you know, bless up. You know, he made it to this many years. But nobody should be worried about age until you're gone. Then you just say, okay. Uh, okay, I think, wait a minute. I think Justin wants me to put a new image. Let me put a new image. 
Sorry about that, Justin. I think I missed it. How long ago was this? Oh my god, that was at five. Okay, you just sent it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a new image. Uh, and shout outs to um, JVB. Get real and play Trails in the, uh, in the Sky. God, bleep it. All right, made All an right. image that's more normal to look at. Lol, can I get some Kirby music? Any track? Yeah. Shout outs to Justin. I just saw that. I have the Discord up. Thank you for the support, Justin, like always. Street Fighter 3. Look at Street Fighter 3 is more lit than most games. Look at this game, bro. Look at the art for this game. Look, look at look at how good the art looks. Holy smokes! This looks more lit than any game that came out today. This game came out 20, 25 years ago. Look at this art, dude. And the game looks like this too. Street Fighter 3 is so good, man. I love Street Fighter 3. There ain't nothing as lit as Street Fighter 3 right now. The games that are coming out in today's day, they're not as lit as Street Fighter 3. I can tell you that. They're not as lit as Street Fighter 3. That's why I love the music and all that from Street Fighter. It's so good. Street Fighter is such a cool franchise. But the music isn't as good anymore. Like, the music's all right, but the music isn't as lit as it used to be, in my opinion. Like, Street Fighter music isn't as lit as it used to be. It's good, but it's not... It feels too, like, cyber, like, cyber techno punkish at times. It's not, it's not lit enough. <laughs> Party Man knocking out Mario in the arms arena with the frying pan. I like it. Shout out to Justin. Thank you for the big three. Let's go. Let's get this music going here, though. Shout out to JVB. Appreciate the support as well. If you guys have questions about anything that's in the title, because I know a lot of you guys are, like, new people are coming in. They're probably saying, when's he going to talk about Metroid? Uh, or switch to stuff just ask me questions about it and then we'll, we'll go over it again but essentially here's the gist of it uh metroid prime 4 there was a director that talked about the technical test is done in, done i'm um, done in um doc Trey 81 made a video on it so you can check out his video but essentially yeah it looks like metroid prime 4 is going to be announced soon um or it's done or it's going to be done or it's almost done um uh, because they talked about it on link uh linkedin um not twitter sorry linkedin um and then with switch to stuff um Samsung Super Memory Flash, Flash Memory. So they're going to be using better Flash Memory. Um, that's faster, so you're going to be able to get faster loading times and all that uh, for the standard memory within the Nintendo Switch. So it's a big upgrade, essentially, over, um, according to a new rumor, over the standard uh, Flash Memory in the Switch right now. So that is the that is the news. That is the news. But you know what else is the news? What else is the news is that uh, we've got... A 50 on the combo count. And you know what 50 on the combo count on the co combo combo count means <laughs> it's a combo breaker. It also means Kirby music. Kirby music from Smash Brothers. Fountain of Dreams. Fountain of Dreams. Yes. You know the uh, models Evan paints. That's Warhammer. Oh, well then Evan's racist. No. <laughs> Evan's like, oh, he's not wrong. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, man. Uh, I'm eight hours into the rest. No rest for the wicked. Access and um, what's there is in EA is pretty incredible. Um, official release could be a real masterpiece, in my opinion. Huddy, I take your opinion very serious on games because you've got a lot of like, you like sauce, just like I like the sauce. So I think I'm gonna check No Rest for the uh, No uh, No Rest for the Wicked out. I I've heard some pretty cool stuff, and I follow the, the the lead developer. I follow him on Twitter, and he said like they have like a big patch coming that's going to make the game even better. Like he said, he can't wait to show off what they have. So I kind of just want the game to be done though, and I want a physical version, and I want it to be able to like buy it. I mean, but I know it's a PC game, but yeah. Am I at Joe off, man? Yeah, it's all good. Joe off is good. Shinner with the $5! Alright, OJ. I better see you throw down with MVG in SF3 in a video or live stream. Money match. Evan can provide commentary. SF3 better than 6? Question mark. Um, I suck at Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I'm not good at the game. But I like it. <laughs> Thank you for the $5. I appreciate that. Lost in Space with Star Ocean 2R. Well, get unlost. 
That's some strong accusations. Yeah, I said it. So what? Sue me. Next thing you know, I get a, I get a I get a um a letter in the mail. It has like a spawn away like a hammer, like with the with the with the sticker and a hammer on it. Open it up. You're being sued by Spawn Wave Entertainment. <laughs> I'm representing my client, my client Kimerix. <laughs> Shout out to Thank you for the five dollars. Appreciate that. I'll make good content with MVG. It's just like Boomer versus Boomer, not even Boomer versus Zoomer. Boomer versus Boomer. Um, let's see. Man, I've been trying to get him to play Mortal Kombat One. Who to play Mortal Kombat One? What Evan? What's up, Darth Wesker? Peach looking crusty. Uh, that's Peach from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. That's the Brawl model of Peach. Um, <clears throat> Australia versus US match. All right. Wait, isn't MVG from Britain? From great, the Great Great Britain? No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's see. Spawny will recruit the cost of the of the busted Lambo. One way or another, he's gonna get that busted Lambo cost back. Um. Speaking of Super Smash Brothers Brawl, um, hey, what's up, Dane? Looking, oh, Final Destination, Fox only, no items, GameCube controllers only. That's the next step. GameCube controllers only, Final Destination, Fox only, no items, baby. <laughs> oh man. Party man has to come here. White knighting for Peach. Bruh, Peach does not look crusty. <laughs> Yo, so Party Man, you use Peach in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, right? You're you're you've been a Peach main for a long time, right? You've been a Peach main for a long time. Uh I'm not even kidding. I was listening to Smash Brawl music. Oh yeah, of course you were. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this dude was three years old playing as Princess Peach in Brawl. What the hell? Are you three years old using Princess Speech, bro? This man out here, juice breaks and brawl. <laughs> Naps, burps, juice breaks and brawl. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. I was using Mario and Peach, bro. This man out here, you were not using Mario and Peach. This man, you must have got, you must have got confused, bro. You must have been confused. You were not. That must have been the Super Mario. You were eating the Super Mario crackers instead. You were, you were eating the Super Mario crackers. That's what you were doing. You weren't using, you weren't playing. <laughs> you were eating Super Mario crackers, bro. Um, this is, do you have to donate to change the background? Yeah, otherwise I'll just have me, otherwise I'll just be, people will just be requesting to change the background like over and over and over. It's just like music. So yeah. Um, but if you want, I, J, or J2, you, you're the homie. You've been here for a long time. So if you want something, let's DM me on on uh, Discord, and I'll get you one right now. So I'm not that young. I, that's true. Party Man is turning 22 pretty soon here. So he's not super young. But he's not old either. He's not. I mean, he's not. No, he's not like a baby anymore. But yeah, he's turning 22 pretty soon. So that was cool, right, Party Man? This part right here is really good. I actually really like this part. You still think Switch 2 is dropping 2024? No, I said 20... I've already... In all my videos, I said 2025. Now with the new rumors. No. Uh, close, 26. Yeah, I mean, in four years, you're going to be considered old by people. So, I mean, to, to be honest, you're not really... That much, that young anymore, party man. So enjoy your last four years, you know. Enjoy your last four years of your twenties, okay? Because once, because pretty much after twenty five, you're over the hill. You're washed. You're done. You're kaput. You're an old man. You're a boomer. So. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, I know we had a uh, we had a bet, uh, Dane. I forgot how much it was for though. Wait a minute, hold up. No, 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 no. Didn't we have a bet that it would be announced? Wait, time out. The bet was announced in 2024. 
if I'm not correct. The bet was announced. People, uh, people already think 25 is old. You'll never get it back. Damn, I'm 34 going on 35. Young. People do think 25 is young. You're over the hill at 25. You know? Um, bet was dropped 2024. All right. Um, let's see for the rest of the year. I still think, I think it's coming out 2025, but it'll be announced in 2024. Um, but yeah, we'll see for the rest of the year. We'll see what happens. And then if it doesn't come out this year, then of course, then I'll, um, I'll, I will donate to you. Donate to any charity you want or I'll donate directly to you. Um, but yeah, we gotta, rem I don't remember how much the price, like how much it was for and all that. So we, we gotta find the VOD that we did that. I hope you saved it, right? Uh, let's see here. I'm 35. I have two kids and still feeling great. Age is nothing but a number. That's true. Justin with the three. Sent you a picture of the definitive edition of Smash Melee. The definitive edition of Smash Melee from Justin. That sounds like it's going to be super cool. If you guys have questions, you can tag me at players. It's hashtag players. Players by itself. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is the one that everybody loves. Everybody loves this one. Justin, I agree. I a thousand percent agree with, with this. This is this is good. This is good. <laughs> fit to screen. It still doesn't even fit. Even after we do this. Hold on. Let me, there you go. Fox only. See all the different foxes there? Final Destination, Fox only. No items. That's how you get it done. Shout out to Justin. Thank you for the $3. 52 on the combo count. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Um, Check your donos, Dane. Check your donos. Like your, because like if, I think it was on Streamlabs, right? So if you go on Streamlabs, like for like what you've done, it, it, it'll see, it'll show your history. So, so we can get that all situated. But yeah, we should wait till end of 2024, obviously. Um, I'm 38 and got the body of an 18 year old. You, um, you over the hill when you get gray hair, gray hair is over the hill. Some people get gray hair really early. I know some people that got gray hair, like in their twenties. So I don't know. If, I don't know if that means anything. I'm 32. Just stay in bed all day now long. Partying and clubbing days are long gone. <laughs> partying and clubbing. You see some people that are like in their forties and fifties. that like to go party and clubbing. I'm like, bro, how do you guys have the energy to go do that? Okay, the first patch is live for uh, No Rest for the Wicked. So, let's see here. Um, balance changes, reduced durability, reduced repair cost, increased drop rate on repair powders, increased stamina, reduced stamina cost, reduced fall damage curve, reduced cost of... Sh okay, so yeah, they did a lot of good balance. That's why I want to wait. I don't want to play right now because then they start changing everything. Um, balance, new balance updates, loot changes, introduced more weapons into the Fillmore's pre-sacrament loot table reduced drop rate of fallen embers stability uh bug fixes so yeah there's more even more patch notes um so so yeah um so yeah i'm probably just gonna i'm i'm, I'm probably just gonna wait i got diablo so maybe i'll check out diablo for right now so I started getting gray hair at 17. Um, fortunately, my body my body slowed a bit uh, on that now. You gotta just dye your hair. What do you think of the Switch 2 reveal this summer? I think we're gonna get a Switch 2 reveal in the fall. It's the Wave Dash game. Yeah, it's the Wave Dash game. So. 35, no kids, and loving it. Have, have nephews to give, uh, give games away. Man, I got gray in my braids. <laughs> you got gray in the braids? Got to do the just for men, guys. Just for men hair dye, or just leave it. You know, I got gray hair. In my, uh, I got uh, I got gray hair in my twenties from cancer. Oh my god, I didn't know you had cancer in your twenties. I'm in my mid thirties now. More stamina than I had in my teens. I can uh, double A max three hundred in DDR any day. Like, right, let's go. Yo, Kevin Valencia with the hey, opening three. Hope all is well. Sorry, missed your B day stream. 
Happy belated birthday. Hey, shout outs to the homie KV in the house. Appreciate you, my man KV. Thank you for the big $25 dono. And you're all good, man. I don't expect everybody to be here at the drop of the whim, even if it is my birthday. Y'all show, Kevin, you show more support than a lot of people, man. So I know I you I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. You know what I'm saying? And when I go to NY, I'm going to bring you an Amazon Basics mouse, okay, from me. Amazon Basics on the house, Kevin, on the house. Amazon Basics mouse, personalized, just for you, okay? Thank you for the big 20. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not bringing you an Amazon mouse, but I am going to go. My, my wife and I, we are making some plans to head off to New York um, at some point. Maybe this year, so I'll hit you up. Uh, this year, next year, for sure. If not this year, next year, for 100% sure. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you for the support, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you for the big 25. You guys give my man KV some love. Finding that nice dono, that nice oh, opening thread. My man Tanzito slicing the competition into two. Hey, let's go. 55 on the comment board more jojos for jojo friday you guys know you guys know how it is according to twitter i'm a broke nobody so if y'all support you know what i'm saying i can finally catch up on the two big bills i've got two big bills coming up okay guys and i need all the support that i can get for the two big bills and taxes are coming up you know taxes are coming up two big bills taxes and then also a day off you know my day off i i i've got bills that i gotta pay and i gotta get doordash you know, I got to get door premium burgers on DoorDash. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I got to buy a new $300 control stick. You know what I'm saying? And I got to get that. You know, so these are all things that I need. You know, these are... <laughs> Guys, by the way, I'm joking. That That is that is an, that is a joke on a, on, a, on a content creator that people like to make fun of a lot. Okay? It's a joke. It's a joke. I don't have two big bills coming up. All right? I, I, I pay all my bills with, with, with my... So watch my videos. Ad revenue takes care of it. You know? Thank you guys for your support. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. 100% homie, I got you here in NYC. Thank you. I appreciate it, Kevin, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so, I don't know what hotels to go to or where to go or anything like that. So, yeah, my, my, uh, my wife and I will probably be heading over there. I guess if she really wants to go. She's never been, and she really, really, really wants to go. So, we got to just plan a trip, um, around that. Um, <clears throat> got, it's a, let me just, it, it's a joke. You guys, it's a joke with Dark Side Phil, because he's always talking about, like, two big bills coming up, ta taxes, he went, you know, so it's just, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> My dad is 56 and still a party animal. Man, Jacob Dressback Sr. out here saying, I still got it, baby. Still got it. Yo, Justin with the 10 down. Jow, jow. Let's go back to the good old days with this background. All right. You got another one, Justin? Let's go. Hey, Justin, thank you for the support, brother. I appreciate that. He said he, man, my man, Justin out here, man. He's supporting me. Thank you for the big support, brother. I appreciate you, Justin, with the another JoJo. 65 on the board. Yo, I appreciate the JoJo's. 16 on the JoJo count. 57. We've got another combo breaker in the house with the 55. I forgot to do it. The good old days. Oh, uh, wait. Hold up. It's a... Let's see if this will actually work. Um, because it, it, it came up as a, as a GIF. Um... So let's see. Let's see if it'll work, Justin. I don't know if it will work normally. Give me a second. I think it's it, yeah. It'd be a media file. It might be over my. Uh, it might be. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's just as a as a media file. I gotta move it over though. I gotta move it over. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it works, right? We'll have this one for a bit. I think people might get tired of the looping same switch background. Oh. Uh, you got the leg, uh, Christian again, legs, arms too. Yeah, the same, the legs joke. The legs joke. You know, we got to do it. You know, we have to. Then it should work on a new punch out and 
and bin off yank bin off arms. I don't know what that means, but punch out would be cool. Psychotic assault. Once you really go broke the RGT route and emulate your uh, emulate your illegal games. What? Law, please change it. <laughs> what? You don't want to see the switch? The switch? That was when I think Super Metal Dave. I think at that point Super Metal Dave had the um, had the what's it called face the uh, the 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 salt face. They call that the they call that the salt face. You know they call that the salt face. Shout out to Super Metal Dave. I, I think he hates me at this point. <laughs> I think he hates. Me. That's okay. Add it to the list of people that hate me. It's okay. Add it to the list. It's all right. You think I care? I don't. Say hello to the bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. <laughs> oh, man. All right, hold up. All right, back to the room. We back to the room. He just looked angry. Yeah, the salt face. There was the salt face. He looked a bit salty. Looked a bit salty. The salt face was there. Um, or the copium face. It was definitely more salty than copium. Uh, where is that Sony Switch Killer handheld the SMD one? It was the PS Portal! It was the PS Portal, bruh! It was the PS Portal, bruh! We still make jokes about that on the Spawncast! <laughs> when we talk about people make mistakes, just say sorry, right? With the whole situation with, um, Jeff Grubb and, um, and whatever the game was, uh, Dead Space 2 remake. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you gotta just apologize sometimes. It's like some people were staying up till 3 a.m., for a PlayStation handheld that never happened. <laughs> I remember when that PlayStation handheld was supposed to be happening, bro. Super Metal Dave was like, I need moderators. I need to have moderators. People are going to be upset and angry. People are going to be mad. I was like, bro, what is going on here? And I remember when it, when it found, I remember he canceled everything. When it found out that it was fraudulent, he canceled everything. He, he had a live stream planned afterwards. He had all this stuff planned. Canceled, canceled, canceled. Cancel. What happened, bro? Why'd you cancel everything? <laughs> I had Spawn Wave up, up at 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 3 a.m. <laughs> John had to come out, had to come out with with a, with an apology video, like one of them YouTubers that said something racist or filmed somebody in a position that they shouldn't have been filmed in or inappropriately talked to fans or. Manipulating some one of those good old fashioned, good old fashioned multi millionaire apologies. Had John had to come out there and apologize like that. I could never do that to a homie. Make him apologize like that. Hey, fellas. Put your dollars. Justin with the three. Will an MP4 work? Because I did have an animated version of the first one I sent you today. Uh, maybe. It could. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't know how it'll work. Like I, I can only tell once I actually get it, and then I can. We can see, um, for sure, Justin. Um, thank you for another three, dude. Seriously, that is crazy support today, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> AMD Switch Killer. Plans have changed, OJ. Plans changed. Sophia, uh SMD tries to report on every Switch disaster at launch to make sort of questions. What uh, Nintendo systems have, this, uh, have had this much defect defect than Switch? The original NES, bruh. Half the stuff doesn't even work. <laughs> the, original, the original NES. That system, ooh. Game stopped working. System stopped working. So dude knew he couldn't handle those PS fans. No, it wasn't the PS fans that he couldn't handle. It was the Nintendo fans that turned against him. So it was, it was a bunch of Nintendo fans. That's really what it was. So, yeah. So... 
So, yeah. Hey, shout out to the cool guy. This model looks dope, man. Um, This model looks dope. The cool guy. So, I just saw the message. Um, I see the SMD apology video. It really wasn't an apology. Um, and he said, many Switch fanboy, y'all just scared of potential Switch killer, you know, a smirky response. Yeah, I remember that. That's what he, that's what he said beforehand, too. He actually said that beforehand. And I was like, no, nobody's afraid of anything. You know, it's just... You're just full of crap, you know, you're just, just full of trash, garbage, you know. There was no actual PlayStation Portable. Nobody's afraid. And at this point, like I said, nobody's actually afraid of a Switch killer. Because there is no Switch killer. Because they're all portable PC handheld things. They're not actual, you know, games and stuff, you know. So, so that's the problem. <clears throat> So, so yeah. <clears throat> hey, what's up, uh, Aron? Remember when Nintendo released the original model DS? I remember. It was kind of ghetto. Remember the 3DS? Scratching the top screen and issues with that system, too. Buttons not working. <clears throat> oh, this is great. Fire Emblem Fates, Birthright. Loving the new demon designs and SMT5 Vengeance. I'm happy I saw your videos, OJ pre-ordered it. <laughs> Justin with another dono! I sent it also, can I get some Metal Mario from 64? No. No. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Metal Mario is in the house. Metal. What's up? Nah. Uh, do you see it? Check check the room again. <laughs> uh, what do you think of this rumor? There's a new Hyrule Warriors in the works for Switch 2 that'll be able. It'll be about the uh, the Sheikah. It'll be a mix between Musou and Assassin's Creed gameplay. Where is this rumor coming from? Where where is this rumor coming from? This seems like a fake rumor. That seems like a fake rumor. Sixty on the combo board. Let's go. That beginning, that's the shimmy music right there. It's gotta do the shimmy when you when you hear this music. <laughs> Bro, there ain't no there ain't no freaking these where's this where's this new rumor coming from? Where is this new rumor coming from? Y'all oh, here with the cap. Stop with the cap and a half. I, I here I am, cap and a half. Cap and a hat. Um Samus Hunter. When Mario was metal, you got out of his way because he's metal. He body you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Jack, I can understand new players are going more retro, more accessible. People are tired of the BS, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. I'll tell you this once. I'll tell you this. I said it before. That's why I said people are in love with 6th gen games. Six gen games and below are built very well. Some of them are crusty, but six gen games overall are just built better. They're built more sound. It's not this PC nonsense, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I gotta start playing more. I gotta start making more retro and classic. I'm gonna turn this channel, my edited videos, into just retro and classic content, bro. Until you guys stop watching it, and then I can't pay my bills. Then I'm going to have to go back to doing what I did before. But I'm going to try it, man. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Super Mario World's built better than 99% of games today. Right now. I'm telling you guys that right now. Super Mario's built better than 99% of games today. 100%. Now, there's actually a pretty big retro um, community for, like, talking about, like, believe it or not, retrospectives and in-depth videos based off of older games is legit the meta right now. Like, if you want to know what the meta is for game, like, for videos to get, you know, good long-term views and new subs, it's absolutely retrospectives and videos on older games. That's the meta right now. News is not the meta. 
the people that have been doing news and you know get views on news they'll continue to get their views but a lot of the views on news is just flash in the pan random it caught an algorithm if you're not like spawn wave or somebody that just has a dedicated set structure news is not the meta you can do really good one video with a bunch of views and the next video is just terrible right so the meta isn't temu unboxing videos <laughs> that's not the meta um i have always been more of a handheld guy to be honest so switch i'm glad i stick with handhelds yeah what's up zoltor like i want to start doing those but the problem is that i'm i'm bad at scripting and writing like i'm not a good scripter or writer and i don't like sitting down and playing old games for like hours and hours and hours to get like one video out i don't like doing that so i gotta find out my own way of getting it done I mean, Jordan Fringe built a whole channel based off that meta. Think about it. Jordan Fringe Gaming is literally just based off of old games. And he's doing really... If he, if he was consistent, he'd probably already pass me up in, in subs on, on, his, on his gaming channel. So, like, that's legitimately the meta. You'll catch an algorithm way more than just doing news videos and talk about, like, the... Because, like, news videos, they only last for a certain amount of time. Then nobody cares. Whereas, like, gaming videos, like, retrospectives and stuff, they last for forever. That's why, like, my... My top 10 videos and all that, those are way, those get way more long-term views than like my, or like buy down before rare videos. Those get way more long-term views than like up-to-date like news videos and stuff. So The meta isn't even Nintendo speculation. That, that doesn't always catch on though. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Not all retrospective videos catch on and all that, but, but speculation like Switch 2 stuff. Yeah, that can be, but it's, it's very, it's, it's hot and cold. It's, it's very... You know people get tired of it right especially if there's like no actual new information and to be honest with you when it comes to youtube or when it comes to like people that are actually interested in that the most a lot of it people just go to the website so they'll just wait for Eurogamer or some website to report on it and then they get all of the eyeballs on their chat like you know like Eurogamer and vgc made a killing off of the switch 2 stuff but YouTubers didn't really make, it didn't reciprocate in YouTubers videos based off of the Eurogamer stuff. Like there was some, well, there was some good views to be had, but m most of the views all went to like Eurogamer and VGC for that, you know? So, so yeah. Yeah, because news is really only important in the moment, especially for something like, if you're like, yes, exactly, exactly, Zoltor. So that's why I've been trying to pivot I try to make at least like one, at least one or two, you know, like long-term, like, you know, compilation vids or whatever, like at least one or two a week or so, like, you know, or sorry, at least one every week or two. I try to make at least one of them every week or two. And like that helps out a lot, you know? So I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to do a script for another video and then we'll get back to more news stuff once we actually have good news to talk about. Right now, this is dry. Any plans for the weekend? I plan on doing streaming. <laughs> I plan on streaming. Look, this messes up my this this light that I have in my background messes up my green screen for a little bit. Makes it look weird. So we turn it off. I got a light. But I gotta figure out how to get it the, the lighting in my room. But I plan on streaming. Old games are the best right now because yep. everything is so samey. Also, now I sent the background video. It All wasn't right. working for me for a second there. Shoutouts to Justin with the five dollars, five dollar holla. Appreciate you. I can hear my I can hear my son in the background say, "What are you doing?" He's hungry or something. I can hear him in the background. I don't know what's up with him. He's probably hungry. He's always hungry. <laughs> Dude's always hungry. All right, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to... Okay, let me see if I can download this. Oh. You got panache. I don't know if it's going to... Hold up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work transform okay okay here we go let me see
Oh, it's got a little animation in the back. I got a little animation in the back. There we go. There we go. That's that's gonna be the background. It's gonna be the background. Got Mario Galaxy in the back. Let's go. Shout out to Justin. Appreciate that. Yeah, Pauline killed it. Killed it with this track, man. This is the hype that like you need. Like the 27 remember the 2017 Breath of the Wild trailer? That music. That music. Odyssey music, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 counter counter attack. Like that the music in 2017 was unbelievable across the board. Persona, Near, you know, a bunch of Nintendo games like Fire Emblem Warriors. Th that might have been the best year for music that I've ever like that I've ever listened to. So why don't you do retrospectives on Xenoblade series? Because I'm not good at stuff like that. Like I understand the I understand the Xenoblade series very well. But I don't understand it as well as like the people that do the Xeno, like the Xenoblade retrospectives. Like they do a way better job than me. So I don't really feel like doing that because Xenoblade retrospectives, like, and honestly, it's not worth all the time. <laughs> I'll keep it a buck. Xenoblade retrospectives are not worth the time. <laughs> There's not enough fans of people that are willing to watch it. That's worth you spending all the time that it's going to take to actually make a good Xenoblade retrospective. It's just not worth it. Um, so, yeah. But I do plan on doing, like, um, other stuff with Xenoblade. Like, other long-form content. Because, like, I have other long-form content on Xenoblade that's good. My review did good. My um, what game should you play. That did good on Xenoblade. So, I, I'm planning on doing other types of videos around Xenoblade. But not retrospectives. It's not worth the time and effort to do that. You know? Stellar, yeah, Stellar Blade soundtrack looks dope. Stellar Blade soundtrack, um, Stellar Blade soundtrack, uh, sounds dope. Um, let's see here. Missed it, but I got, this gotta be the new house. Yeah, this is the new crib, man. This is the new crib. What do you think? CBH forgot. What do you think? This is a pretty cool looking crib, huh? I mean, and the coolest thing about this crib, though, is that, like, it can change, like, instantly. Like, it can change to, like, I can immediately change it to this, too, as well. So, it's pretty... <laughs> It's pretty cool. <laughs> Just with another three. Do you notice the Dragon Balls and Mario moving? Wait a minute. The Dragon Balls and Mario moved in the clip? Hold up. Give me a second. Wait, no, that's not it. Wait, which one is it? Okay, hold up. There we go. There we go. Okay, the Dragon Balls are moving. And I know Mario's there. Hold up. Did you notice... Dragon Balls and I, I noticed Mario here and I didn't and the Dragon Balls are levitating there. I don't know if there's anything else. Let me check. Uh I think that that's it. Like those two things, right? Those are the two things. Best remix on Switch vid, maybe? Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. Let me write it down. Y'all want that? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll I'll script it out maybe tomorrow morning, and maybe you guys will get it on Sunday. Oh, bonus stream on Sunday too, guys. Bonus stream. We don't have everything ready yet for the games. Actually, wait a minute. We might we might be ready for the games. Uh, Kirby Air Ride and all that. We, need, we might need to do that. Maybe not this week. Next week for sure. Um, next week for sure. I think green screen actually might be a little bit better for gameplay streams because I I can show more of the screen, um, with with green screen than I can without green screen. So I'll make a layout for green screen. I didn't plan on doing green screen with the stuff. But yeah, we got to do the uh, the bonus streams for Kirby Air Ride and other games. So yeah. Um, uh, top best remix on Nintendo Switch. All right. I'll make that video for you guys. I'll research it really well, though, so it'll be a good video. I'll edit it well, too. It won't be, it won't be trash. Hear my son, he's going, wham, 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 wham. Do, 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 do. Rem yeah, remakes, remakes and remasters. We'll, we'll put them both in there. Remakes and remasters. Nothing wrong with being honest about not wanting to do it. Most of those type of vids are too dry anyway. Doesn't matter the topic. We ain't in college no more. 
I mean, like, to be honest, like, retrospectives are good, but, like, Xenoblade retrospectives are really good. The people that do Xenoblade retrospectives are awesome, but I'm not going to sit there and, like, do a script and do all that for, like, potentially, like, 20,000 views. Like, it could get more, but, like, Good Vibes Gaming already has a really good retrospective. Luxin and all these guys. I mean, there's already people that already have it out there, so there's really no point in me doing a retrospective on it, you know? So, so yeah, if I'm going to do retrospective, it's going to be, like, a based off of, like, Probably something that, like, I'm really super, super, super passionate about that I can do in a decent amount of time, you know? Uh, maybe, like, a vi like, a singular video game retrospective. Like, looking at, like, the, the history and the gameplay of, like, a singular game. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's not your baby. It's Waluigi. <laughs> no, it's definitely my son in the back. I can hear him. He's going, Wah. He's do He's doing something, but it's all right. Uh, Justin with the three says, uh, there's actually a ship. There's actually a ship from Skies of Arcadia and Goku on a Nimbus behind the chat. Lol. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, give me a second here. Okay, I knew there was something there, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was. Let me take a look. Okay, there it is. A Nimbus, Skies of Arcadia right here. And then there's a Nimb uh, there's a fl Goku flying Nimbus right there moving. Yeah, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Okay. Yeah. It, okay. Now that I, now that I, you can barely see it, right off there to the to the uh to at least that'd be the left side of your screen, right? It's my right. No, no, it's my left. Left. So right there, but the right side of your screen. Um. <clears throat> Shoutouts though. Appreciate that, Justin, with the. A lot of uh, this, you put some work into this one. I don't think this was quick, man. You put some work into this. I appreciate that, Justin. Shout out to the, Justin with the multiple donos today, man. Carrying the stream, let's go. But we've had a lot of people support today, man. So I appreciate that. Um, JoJo Fridays has been Liddy McLiddy. Thank you guys for the multiple donos. Appreciate that. Shout out to Justin. Appreciate you as well. If you guys have um, questions, comments, topics, let me know in the chat. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions and go over different stuff. We already have the hour extension, so we've got another good 45 minutes left on the stream plus. So if you guys want to talk about anything, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions and all that. Skies of Arcadia, man. Where's that remake? Seriously, where is that remake? Uh, where is that remake? <clears throat> no, we're not including ports. We're not including ports, Felipe. We're only including, like, real real remasters and remakes. We're not including, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's not a that's not a remaster. That is a port. So. So, yeah. Um, and old Luxon, Paragon of Torna. Yeah, there's a lot of good guys out there, you know. Do we think there, we'll see a Metroid Direct? Um, or just a trailer drop for Metroid Prime 4 in a, in a Nintendo Direct. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Apparently there's some rumors that there could be like a Metroid thing in May. So if something happens, we'll see that. I don't feel like there's going to be a Direct in April like some people were trying to sit there and say. Yes, I will live stream the Metaphor Refantasy uh, presentation. Yes, I will live stream that. Yes, I will. Um... Isn't technically a remaster? Not really, because all they did was take the same game, port it over, then they just increased the resolution, right? Or no, the resolution was already 1080p, wasn't it? Or was it 720? I don't remember. But they didn't re they didn't really remaster the game. It was just ported over. Like, the game was not remastered. Like, DKC Tropical Freeze, that wasn't remastered. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that was not a remaster. Um, what else? Super Mario 3D World, that was not a remaster. That was a port. Um, just 1080p. Um, all the Wii U games, essentially, for the most part, are all just ports. Um, why do you feel Xenoblade Definitive will be in the top five? Um, probably. Because Xenoblade Definitive was like in my... Um, what was it in? It was my best single-player games. What up, OJ? Uh, or OJ, what up with no Metroid on N64? Seriously, what up with that? King Cagney with the Jojo! Hate to Jojo and run. <laughs> Have a great night, everyone. Hey, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate Dallas? it. And the Dallas? 
in the pockets. That gameplay of Galaxy is actually my gameplay from my Switch, and this only took me about 15 minutes. Oh man, Lol. bruh, that's not that's pretty good. That's actual gameplay from from that he captured. Not dude, just, you you took some time though, Justin. That's still some effort in there. And shout outs to my man King Candy with the JoJo boys. JoJo run. Hey man, take care of business tonight, bruh. If you got something you got to do, I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate the donos, guys. Really helps out. Pay the two big bills coming. Up. <laughs> guys, I'm telling you right now, guys, the two big bills coming up. I, 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 I just, I need to be able to have DoorDash. I gotta be able to DoorDash. What, what, what am I gonna do without DoorDash tomorrow on my day off? Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> oh man, the two big bills. Thank you, Justin. With the big three, thank you so much, King Cagney. I appreciate the support, guys, honestly. Uh, am I missing context? You are missing context. You are missing context. Um, you are missing context. <laughs> but all remasters are, are ports, aren't, 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 I think, man, aren't they? No. No. All remasters are not necessarily ports. Because when you remaster something, I mean, yeah, it's being ported over, the code and all that. It's being ported over, but... You're making significant changes to that. You're making significant changes to the actual graphics or to the sound quality or to many different visual um, aspects of the game. Um, like, for example, like Xenoblade Definitive Edition. It's not just a port of the Wii game. Like, they actually like, completely redid, like, the art style on the faces, right? For, like, Shulk and the characters. Whereas Mario Kart 8 Deluxe literally looks exactly the same. It's just in 1080p now, you know? DKC Tropical Freeze looks exactly the same. There was nothing remastered about it, you know? So th there is a difference between, like, a remaster, like Xenoblade Definitive Edition, and, like, a port, like, DKC. But it, uh, but it isn't a port. If it isn't a port, it's a remake. There's a difference between... Listen, listen, Felipe. There's a difference between just porting over a game and upping the resolution... And taking the game and pointing it over and actually changing the code, actually changing some parts of the code and actually remastering and redoing the graphics. There is a there is a difference between those two. So there is no opinion on this. There is a difference between porting over a game and just having it in 1080p and porting over a game and actually taking the time to remaster, add better graphics, increase the visual fidelity, things like that. Right? There is a stark difference between the two of those things. So, I mean, you can argue all you want in the streams. I know that's what you're going to do, but it doesn't matter what you say. There is a difference, okay? Between just porting something over and remastering something. That is like a factual difference that any developer will tell you. Whether you want to play semantics or not all night, that's not my business. But there is a difference between a straight port and a remaster. There's a difference, okay? So, and it's very simple too. It's not that hard. Now, the remaster and remake thing... Okay, I get you. You want to argue that or you want to sit there and say, but what about this? But a straight port where they just port the game over and an actual remaster where they take the time to change the graphics in the game, there is a difference. There, there is a clear difference between those two, you know? Whether you want to play, you know, whether you want to sit there and play semantics or play, but, 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 it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. But there is a difference, okay? Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, can I get Hype Street from Sonic Frontiers? It's good. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it. Hype Street. Um, Sonic Frontiers. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> no. That, uh, wait, hold up. Focus on me says Link's Awakening is a remaster. No. Link's Awakening is a remake. They took the game and they completely, they remade the game. Brand new engine, brand new code, brand new everything with that game. It's just based off the original game, but th that is a remake. Um. <clears throat> All right, Hype Street. Crash Bandicoot, they call it a remaster um, because they took, they took, apparently they took the base game and they layered on top of it. That is according to um to activision they took literally the base game and just made up graphics on top of it but it moves acts physics everything is like the base game so they say it's just a really nice remaster so that that's what they say 
but obviously the game is good enough to look graphics wise to be completely the graphics are completely remade but activision calls those rematches because it's the same base game like they didn't really change anything from like the physics or the mechanics of the base game for it to feel exactly the same or very similar to the original games like for crash bandicoot and for tony hawk but that's like i said that's their that's their justification for it I think the edge of uh, remaster. Um, I think the edge of remaster and remake is prime. They dramatically improved the visuals and gave us a good control options, but still remaster. Yes, which Nintendo also stated. Yeah, it's the same original base game. I mean, some of the graphics look pretty similar, but there's some stuff that they did actually redo the texture work and all that. Right, like uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. They redid texture work. They added some things. Right, so that's also a remaster, um, not a remake. Remaster. Um, I guess a bit mixed with remake remaster. I was trying to point out that example because it's no it's no port. Oh well, you said well you just said Link's Awakening is a remaster, so so people are gonna correct you if you say Link's because it's not it's a remake. So that's all we were correcting you on. That's it. Uh, OJ, you saw I saw you cop Diablo Walmart good deals this week. Got Diablo Crash Spyro Massive Legendary for about fifty dollars. Yeah, that's really good value, dude. Such good value. So Trials of Mana uh, was a pretty dra dramatic remake. Yeah, that's a completely new engine. Completely, new. I mean, they changed a lot with like the physics, the perspective. Like, that's that's just a complete remake of the of the original game because the original game plays nothing. Secret of Mana, like Second Nintendo Three, plays almost nothing like Trials of Mana. I mean, it's some things that are the same, but a lot of things are. It's just so different. It's not the same game. I mean, you could love Second Nintendo Three and hate Trials of Mana, and vice versa. You could love trials of mana and hate second and set two three that's how different they are whereas like crash bandicoot and like tony hawk pro skater 2 if you like the original you're probably gonna like the remake if you like the remake you probably wouldn't be upset with the original because like they like the physics in the game is basically the same you know um okay uh don't know if you saw my comment you'll need online play otherwise it's just paperweight online play for what diablo yeah i, I got online i mean I, i've got it so i'll, I'll hook it up online play it <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I, I got online. <laughs> I've got internet. I, I will hook up the internet and play and play the, maybe it's still in the, in the shrink wrap. So, uh, so I might, I might play and I might not. I'm not sure. I'm low key tired of remake versus remaster discussion. No one at fault in line it just seems more gray these days without people to fight. That's true. That's true. I mean, it, it does get a little bit foggy. Um, when it comes down to it but i mean when you look at it and like when you really get down to the nitty-gritty you can kind of say okay and usually the developer will give you a very clear indication of what's what to you know the only problem is that like crash bandicoot and tony hawk they mess things up every now and then <laughs> you know like where they completely remake the graphics of the game but they layer it on top of the original game so they just say it's a remaster to be honest, I don't know what Paper Mario is right now. I'm not even sure. Um, because the problem with that game is that, like, we need to just know. I mean, apparently some people said, oh, it's a remake because Nintendo said that it's completely been remade. Um, Nintendo is pretty particular, too. Like, if something's a remake, they will outright say it in their marketing. So, I will, once the marketing, like, once I can actually start asking them questions, like, I will go to my rep. And I will get it directly from the developers, right? So, like, for, for example, like, remember the whole, when I got bodied with the whole um, Xenoblade Chronicles thing with Nintendo Prime? I went directly to my rep, and, like, when they were showing me the game, and I asked them to ask the devs and all that. And But they were very clear from the beginning. They already knew the answer. Like, no, it's a remaster. Like, And I said, oh, and I was trying to try to say, oh, well, what about remakes? You know, they're like, no, 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 OJ, it, it's, it's a remaster. So Nintendo, and like with Link's Awakening, they're like, it's a remake. You know, they tell me specifically what it is, you know. So once I get a chance to do the promotion and stuff for for, for um, Paper Mario, I'll get I'll get it from the directly from the source. So we won't have any more questions. So in the survey, they called it a remake. There you go. So once again, Nintendo's already used terminology, but I will get it. Like I said, my reps talk directly to the devs. So I will ask my my rep once the thing goes and all that so so yeah um 
Lo-Fi's presentation getting delayed for the summer. Do you think we'll finally see the release dates for their games? I hope so. Um, I hope so. I'm still so... I'm excited for Paper Mario. It's a really good RPG. I'm, I've been looking forward to playing a really good turn-based RPG. Hey, what's up, Chris Wallace music? Uh, Paper Mario changed a lot, uh, added a lot of assets. I mean, that's like I said, I, I think it's a remake, but we're going to have to wait and see for like 100%. Like I said, I, I want to talk to my, um, my, what's it called, my rep. And shout out to Shinru. Thank you for the heads up on that, Shinru. I appreciate that. What's up, Brett? <laughs> yeah, I know. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. But hey, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Oh, man. Good stream tonight, guys. Very good stream tonight. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If you have not hit that like button, make sure you hit the like button. Let them know that we're streaming. JoJo Fridays is still going. We still out here. Um, I got Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes. So I've got the game, and I definitely want to check the game out. I'll probably re record some footage. I got it on PC. But I definitely want to record some footage and, um, you know, play it for you guys um, at some point or get a video going for Eden. But I finally got my, I got my PC copy. So I'll be, I don't know if there's a, if there's a, what's it called? A, a embargo? Uh, they didn't send me anything with it, but I won it. Apparently it was me and somebody else. We won it because people kept on mentioning my name on Twitter. So... So yeah, Epic Mickey is a cool game too. I need to play Epic Mickey. I'm looking forward to Epic Mickey. Those games bring the game back in video games. These are real gamers games. Like Epic Mickey, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Real gamers games, man. Love it. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yes, sir. I see. I see people picking up. Um, I see people picking up Diablo as well. Um, <clears throat> so it's all good. Just with another three dollars. Sent a funny image for everyone that I made last one. Lol. <laughs> all right. Shout outs. Let's do it. Uh, sixty-five. And we've got the combo breaker. <laughs> Epic Mickey is not epic. Oh, it's epic at times. I think that this remastered version is actually going to be able to. It might be. It might actually be epic. It might be actually epic this time. All right, let's check out this image. Shout out to Justin for his support and hype for the stream. <laughs> the Josie Wollers are coming to town. Is that what's happening here? The Josie Wollers are coming to town. Party man's freaking gym music over here. <laughs> what the heck? Whoa! That's that's really whoa! It's covering the whole screen. Whoa! Alright, there you go. <laughs> this is definitely the music like when you're about to get like hit with the dodgeball. You know, back when they actually used to let kids play dodgeball. You're about to get like hit in the face or hit pretty bad. It, this music starts up. Yeah, gym music goes hard. It goes hard, party man. I, I gotta give you it. So yeah. So it goes hard today. It says got the hairline for free today. Amazing. That's why I told you to wait. The whole point is that I didn't do it when you wanted me to do it. I'll do it when I feel like it. When I feel like it. You're a weirdo, though, V-Rocks. You're definitely a weirdo. You definitely one of those dudes that, like... <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say that. Never mind. I'll, I, I won't go that far. But you definitely a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know where you at, but yeah, you seem like... Like I said, you seem like one of those dudes where, there's, where like your sister's got to lock her door at night. Because <laughs> she worried about you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna just say that right now. Never mind. I said I wasn't going to, but I, I'm gonna say that. You definitely seem like one of those dudes, like where like your sister's like she she feels like she needs to lock her door. 
Uh, let's see here. But chat off. Thanks for coming out to the stream, man. Appreciate you. No Josie raid today. No, jo no Josie raid. No Josie raid. You see, I'm wondering if, uh, um, if the PS5 can build any kind of momentum at this point in Japan. It's been pretty dire despite having the big releases there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, we talked about this. I don't know if they can. I, I, I don't think so. And the reason why is because, once again, I think it's because everything feels too samey, you know? Everything feels real samey, you know, overall. So, so yeah. Shout out to J2 Blue with the. Ah. As for Lucky gaming seven. being stale, I haven't been compelled to buy or play any new games as of late. With TTYD being the only game I've been hyped to play. Yep. That's not to say there aren't good games, but mm -hmm. they don't feel exciting to me. Yeah, there's good games that you can just pick up, but. It's not like you're going to rush out and like you want to rush out and say, I'm going to spend 70 bucks on this game. Like, look at all the $70 games that came out. And yeah, some some people did rush out there and buy it. But I was like, I ain't rushing out. I mean, outside of Final Fantasy, but even though I got Final Fantasy for free, but I bought the special edition because I wanted the special edition. But like, there wasn't anything that I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I got to rush out there and spend $70 or I got to spend like full price for like that you're excited to, right? It wasn't really anything for me. Like, I was excited for stuff, but it wasn't really like, like I said, yeah, there's just there's just something off, man. There's just something off about it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> my, my boy AJ, he just he just let out a <laughs> he just let out a pretty high pitched scream. You guys probably can't hear it because the music in my my mic is the way this position my my soundproofing, but it just it just sounded really funny. I, I probably need to go. <laughs> I think my <laughs> my wife might she might have, need a SOS right now. Might need she might need some help. <laughs> Uh, shout out, shout out to my man J uh, J two J two. Did you want a background? I know you talked about it earlier. If you want one, let me know. Um, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's this man's having the time of his life. <laughs> this man's having the time of his life. Uh, don't know if you can relate, OJ, but a lot of these games satisfy my mind. They don't hit my heart. Ex that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I would, like sound like I'm whistling in the background. Yeah, yeah. My my door is kind of open too, though. My door. If I close my door, you probably couldn't hear it. Um, and if I truly position, like if I truly took my mic and go like actually do this and use my mic like this, or if I use my other mic because I have my other mic set up like right here and like position it, it probably wouldn't catch anything. But whatever, y'all can hear him. Who cares? <laughs> y'all, yeah, yeah, if, if 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 he wants to talk, he let let him. Uh, the key art from Fire Emblem Engage. All right, I got you. I got you. I think I have it here. Engage. Fire Emblem Engage. Fire Emblem Engage. I think I have the key art. Yeah, I do have the key art. I do have the key art. There you go. Oh, that looks very nice. It looks very, very, very nice. Let's go. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of popping off a bit. Give me a second. I think sometimes he just gets he just gets a little fussy, you know. Babies they grow so quick, they get they grow so fast, you know. So they get a little fussy at times, you know, after he's done eating or sleeping or he's playing or whatever. Shout out to J two. Thank you for the uh, seven seven seven. Uh, pay five dollars for Mass Effect Legend Edition for seven dollars for Rise of the Road in twenty twenty four gaming. <laughs> I know, seriously, but I mean, Mass Effect Legend Edition is is you know three years old at this point, right? But yeah, you get way more value. But I'm not spending seventy dollars on Rise of the Road, and you know, it's just I, I'm looking for. I, I want to play the game, but I'm not like, oh man, I gotta go out there and do that right right now, you know? So, so yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, Thomas on, uh, Twitter, he also said second patch for, is already in progress, love early access so far, thank you for, so much for your support for, that's no rest for the wicked, so, so yeah, people are really enjoying the game, um, people are really enjoying the game, you know, so, that's crazy, man, <clears throat> it's crazy, people, people really loving this, Moon Studios is legit, man. Moon Studios is legit. I think I gotta I think I gotta pick it up, man. 
I think I got. I think I got to. I got to. I got to. I got to play. This game might cure my gaming. People are saying this game is like it's got sauce. You know, I trust Huddy's opinion because Huddy's Mister Sauce. Huddy, Huddy, Huddy's got his own sauce, his own brand of sauce, gaming sauce. You know, so like I trust what Huddy's saying, but people are saying this game's got sauce. You know, the graphics hit the right flair. The gameplay is good. It feels complete, even though they're still adding patches and stuff. I don't know. I might need to just. I need to just check it out. I'm actually glad Moon Studios didn't get acquired by Microsoft, to be honest. Well, I mean, yeah, they're independent studios. So, I mean, Microsoft, I think they own the rights to Ori, right? But they, uh, as a studio, they're independent. So, so yeah. There's no rest for the Wicked Souls-like game, just top-down. Well, it's an action RPG, so it, it combines... Uh, it's, 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 like, isometric. It's not quite top-down. It's, like isometric a little bit so think like diablo 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 gameplay style but then also it has souls elements but it's it's kind of based off of diablo and then with souls elements in the game so so yeah uh no rest for the wicked no rest for the wicked i need to download it and check it out the only problem is like i don't feel like playing it on PC. like i'd rather just buy the game on ps5 and just play it but you know whatever i gotta play it on pc i gotta play it on pc Gotta play it on PC, play it on PC. So, yeah. Just a couple months uh, old later, he'll start to speak, even play video games. A couple months? Uh, I don't know about a couple months. I mean, the dude just turned, he's about half a year old, a little bit older. So, I don't know about a couple months. Maybe like, maybe like in like a couple years. Or maybe, not a couple years, maybe in like, I'm back in a year or two, a year and some odd months. Usually it's around, maybe like around three years old, a, a kid can really actually start playing games. Two is a bit young. I mean, one, they can't, you can't play games at one. You don't know what, the, you don't know what you're doing. So it's gotta be like around, like probably like, two, I, I know like my daughter, Anime, she started playing video games like around when she was like almost three. That's when she could just try to like play a game, you know? So I don't know about a couple months, probably not. But, uh, but yeah. All right, take it easy, Lulano. Thanks for coming out to the stream, brother. Appreciate that. What up, OJ? You think Thousand Year Door Remake will have any new content? Um, yeah, I think they'll maybe have something, a, a thing or two, some something new. Um, so yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> So, um, no rest for the wicked isn't really the souls souls like. It's pretty much unique and has surprising amount. No, we souls elements, souls elements. Uh, that's what I've heard. I've heard that it's souls elements, and yeah, Animal Crossing survival. There's like a lot of different elements, but no, not not a souls like. Yeah, not a souls like. Just. Some souls elements from what I understand, but if I'm wrong on that, let me know. Uh, this is uh oh, he's little OJ. Uh, didn't know my bad. Yeah, yeah, he's about a half a half a year, a little bit over half a year. So uh, I remember beating Banjo Kazooie with my daughter uh, on my lap back in 1990, uh, 1998, 99. Okay, so your your daughter's much older now. That's cool, dude. That's cool. <clears throat> I do think a lot of companies shipped big games last year. I guess it should be expected to start. But there's a lot of big games shipped this year, though. It's not that there's not enough games to play. We Think about it, guys. In February, we had Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. We had Persona 3 Reload. We had Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. We had Unicorn Overload in March. We had a bunch of games. So it's not like there's not enough Just games. Just check out No Rest for the Wicked, and I think I might have to try it. I can tell that it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... I I think I'm going to have to check it out, man. This might cure my 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 problem that i have guys this might cure my problem this might finally do it you know um might finally do it might finally cure the issue that i have with uh kind of the gaming rut it might do it this might be the game hopefully it is 
Shout out to my man, um, my man Justin. Another big support, dude. Thank you so much. So yeah, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. <clears throat> uh, if you guys have questions, we're gonna finish out the stream here. We still got um, a good number of minutes left in the stream, 20 minutes plus. So if you guys have questions, feel free to tag me at PlayerSense, hashtag PlayerSense, PlayerSense by itself. More than happy to answer all of your lovely, beautiful, awesome questions. So, uh, yeah. Right, I haven't even touched Persona 3 Reload yet. I'm getting Stellar Blade. Yeah. Persona 3 Reload, like I said, I, I, I was playing it, but I think I'm just going to wait for the Switch version. I'll probably check it out more, but like, I just got tired of playing in Tartarus, to be honest, man. Like, <laughs> if you want, and I got tired of the social link stuff. Like, I just got tired of it. I'm like, I don't feel like doing all this social link crap, you know? So, uh, I got tired of doing the social link stuff, you know? Um, got completely tired of it, so. So, yeah, I was like, I'm good. You playing anything at the moment? Uh, not really, no. But I just got Euden Chronicle, 100 Heroes. But I oh I've been playing uh, Unicorn Overlord. I've been playing it sp like every Sunday when I get some time or on my day off. I will play a lot of Unicorn Overlord. So I, I have been playing that, but I, I don't get a chance to play it a lot during the week just because I have to work so much. Uh, but I will check out No Rest for the Weekend. You'll be doing it again in Metaphor. Metaphor Reflect to Zeal. I'm going to be no lifing that game. I, I'm pretty sure that game is going to be incredible. So like yeah, Metaphor. I'm ready. Thousand Year Door. I'm ready. Metaphor, I'm ready. Stellar Blade, I'm like, I'm ready. I don't know if I'm gonna rush to beat the game. But uh, but yeah. Can't get excited about a game that isn't physical for some reason. Yeah, I, trust me. That's the reason why I haven't bought it yet. If you wanna know the real reason why I haven't bought No Rest for the Wicked, it's probably because it's digital, it's early access, it's all this stuff. If if there was a way for me to like let's just say there was a PS5 early access physical of No Rest for the Wicked, and then like you can download the updates, I would have already bought it. If there was no rest for the wicked PS5 where I could just get the game and play it, I would have I would have already bought it at this point. But it's because it's early access, because it's all digital, is the reason why I usually hesitate on certain games, you know. Um, what's up, LJ? I love the background. Thank you so much, Seventh Okage. Appreciate that. Uh, I've got like twenty plus hours into Unicorn now. I was say I haven't played Sea of Stars because physical hasn't shipped yet. Yeah, I I played Sea of Stars because I knew I knew I was gonna play the game digital it's like indie games. Like the smaller indie games, I can do I can do digital for like the small indie games, you know. Like multiplayer games, smaller indie games, I can do digital to buy a physical later. But like yeah, certain big titles or games that I feel like should be just physical, like I kind of like rather just have it physical, you know. So so yeah, uh, yeah, Unicorn is really good. Yeah, I made a mistake by playing P5 again and then going straight into P3 Reload. Enjoyed it, but I was burned. Out. Yeah, exactly. You get burnt out on all that social link crap, dude. It gets it gets it gets tiring, man. They gotta evolve that system. It's not fun any. It's not as fun anymore as it used to be. Like it was cool, like like in 20, 2000 or two thousand four or two thousand five, whenever Persona came out, Persona three to like Persona five. But now at this point, like I, I, I don't feel like doing all that social link crap. Like I don't want to take up my whole damn day with social links you know like i have to do social links i have to do like i have to sit there and talk to people and go to parties like it's too it's too rigid or they need to have more flexibility like fire emblem engage like you have like a like a variety of different things that you can do you know for the social links like it's 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 and there's like more activity points right and like you can do other things yo david v with the ah lucky seven Metaphor is going to be hype. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're going to announce the official date next week? Yeah. Monday, I think they're going to announce the date for the game. I think they're going to announce the date for the game on Monday, which would be really good. I would like that because, you know, so we can kind of lock down. And there's going to be physical. There's going to be physical of the game as well. So, yeah, Metaphor Repetizio is exactly what exactly what we need. That's exactly that. Big, high-end, you know, quirky, weird hybrid action turn-based rpg with all sorts of new ideas yeah that that's it um so yeah been playing psychonauts 2 recently kind of just blows anything away right now 
go through your backlog and face instead of playing new games. I agree, Vegeta. I agree. I agree. Backlog is good. I haven't played Psychonauts. I need to play that game. I heard it's pretty cool. Like uh, a lot of the spawn cast back when the game came out were really uh, raving about the game, you know, about how good the game is. So, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think we need to go through the backlogs. That's why I'm playing Unicorn. Unicorn kind of like went into my backlog. So I'm playing that right now. Yeah, Metaphor, easily my most anticipated game. Yes, it's really good. 200 hours of the Unicorn Overlord at the very end. Have a hard time beating it. Uh, having a hard time beating it because you don't want it to end or because like it's it's like the game's too hard. How much time average do you have to game each week? I probably have anywhere between three to five hours a week to play video games. I have very little time between baby, between baby, my other, my other daughter, uh, of course my wife, um, you know, and like work, um, you know, it's not, a, not a ton of time. Uh, Yoshi with the $5. Let's go. Super chat. Us, yes, 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 yes. Almost at 70 for the combo count tonight, guys. JoJo Fridays at 69. Very nice. Um, success. Thank you guys for the support, man. I appreciate it. Can you uh, please play the Kiwi Lost from Xenoblade X? Yes, I can. Kiwi Lost. Kiwi Lost. I knew what you meant. It's all good. Did you send me another picture? Uh, Justin? Oh, no, you didn't. I don't think you did. Yeah, you didn't. My bad. I thought you did, but no. Um, yeah, Unicorn can take up a ton of time. Uh, it can take up a ton of time. You know? See, Three Houses definitely had, more, um, had me more intrigued with the story. I keep trying to play Persona 3, 4, and 5 off, um, off, off, in, uh, off and on. Social part is still 50-50 for me in the game. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the social systems, like, anymore. Like, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're, they, they, they make sense, but it's, it's so outdated. They need to change it. Like, I don't like how it takes up my whole damn day. Like, if I do one thing, it takes up the whole day, then I can't do anything that I gotta, like, it's too rigid. It's too many, too many break stops in gameplay, you know? And then, like, you go to, like, and another problem is that, like, when you want to level up, or it's like, oh, you gotta go, you gotta go there, and, like, you don't have any magic. Like, you gotta, you know, go back. And then it, like, I don't I don't like the day stuff. I don't like it as much. Party Man with the, the five. feeling of not feeling like playing games happens almost every day except weekends, lol. Yeah. And the problem is, like, for me, the biggest problem is that, like, if you spend your time, like, if I spend my time playing video games, right, and it's not worth, like, a, 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 it takes away from content that i got to do for you guys, whether that's new videos, researching vids, the stuff like that, right? So, for me... You know, I don't know, man. I, I've it's it's tough sometimes to get get the motivation to really get up and play games all the time. You know, um, when I'm like, hey, I gotta, yeah, I gotta play a game so I can make my videos, certain stuff. But I just, I just, there's just not enough hours in the day. You know, just not enough hours in the day. I gotta play with my, I gotta play with my son. You know, I gotta play with him a lot and, and take care of my wife and other things. So it's just, it's just tough. But I, I mean, I, I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I have way more time to play. You know, I'm hoping, but because I'm just getting, you know, we're still getting things such situated in this house. I still got to, you know, build my set, things like that. So, so yeah. Um, thanks for parting that with the five dollars. Appreciate that, man. Seventy on the combo count. Another. Y'all know what time it is. Combo breaker. Combo breaker. OJ, I want to play Kidicus Uprising, but I've been playing on my 2DS a lot lately, and I wonder if it's if the solid form factor would make it slightly less slightly easier to play i mean maybe i've never played kid icarus uprising on its on a 2ds um so yeah i'm not really sure what's up man the best switch channel uh, switch info channel thank you so much ghost i appreciate that thank you what's up cloud nine psychonauts 2 greater than talking to charlie again in rebirth bro vegeta ah keep it a buck bro i know i mean like i know it's kind of like a joke but it's kind of like not I think I'd rather play Psychonauts 2 than talk to Charlie. Like, screw that guy, man. I'm tired of him. I finished doing the... I finished doing the... Like... Oh, God, man. That dude sucks. Dude talk trash. Like, I really... Legit... One night, I just turned it off. Because he's like... Like... I'm so sick of that guy, man. What the hell? He was, like, cool for, like... 
like one minute. And then after, he just got annoying. Like, stop calling me, bro. Stop calling me all day. Oh, whatever. Dude, tired of point Dexter goofy nerd looking, you know? Um, anyway, uh, I love Kid Icarus Uprising, but I really want the port. Yeah, I want a switch port. I want a switch port too, man. You can use button controls. That's what I did. I used button controls for the game, but yeah. Great game, but I had a hard time getting through it sometimes. Me too, man. I'm still struggling to get through it. So, Charlie needs someone to talk to. You talk to the uh, talk to the chick. You can talk talk to that chick that's with him. Talk to her. Dude, I wasn't even like <laughs> I was playing, I was playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and I Chadley was talking. And I missed the whole segment on how the, the female Chad Lee girl was even in the game. Because I was looking at my phone and I was just pressing the X button or just pressing to get through it. And I wasn't paying attention. And then all of a sudden I remember like another cutscene came up and there's there like a female Chad Lee. And I'm like, what the hell? When did this happen? And then apparently there was a whole plot line or there was a whole thing that I missed because I wasn't paying attention. With why why there's a female Chadley or there's a female AI thing lady or whatever. So I don't even know why she's there. Um, so <laughs> I don't even know why she's there. What are your plans this weekend? Work. We got uh, <laughs> we got a bonus stream on Sunday and we've got uh, Spawncast on Saturday. So I'll be working. Plus, I got to do video. You guys want to see remakes or remasters, like best ones or top 10 or whatever. So I'll be doing that video. I got to script it probably tomorrow morning and then start editing. Maybe I'll have it done tomorrow. I'll probably have it done maybe Sunday. So, so yeah. Yeah, man, I think it's just um, I'm, I'm just good on Rebirth. I haven't played it in a, like almost a week. So I might move on to this point. Peeps who love, uh, peeps who love cool beans. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling, man. At this point haven't been going back to it so i don't know i might drop it and pick it back up later so uh, luna says i saw it and i still don't uh, remember the game is so important <laughs> does anybody know why that girl's there I i've totally forgot like the whole how she got in the game like that uh that female chadley who you got sixers versus nick series i got the sixes just so i can just so hopefully um i can you know rain misery down on um on rgt I just want the Knicks to lose because RGT is a Knicks fan. That's the only reason why. Because he was hating on the Niners all year. So I'm definitely going to be hating on the Knicks. Um, you know, and I hope they lose. I hope they lose lose to them. So that's that's really what's happening. Um, <clears throat> all I remember is that she was created by Chadley, but I have no idea. Yeah, I, have no, I know Chadley created her, right? But I have no idea why Chadley created her or whatever. So... What a, you know, like whatevs. Uh, Nuggets versus Bucks in NBA Finals. Okay, you know, uh, uh, Giannis is not going to be uh, playing in all the games. So, will they be able to make it out of the first round without Giannis playing at a hundred percent or all the games? I don't know. Um, and of course, the Krusty Bulls lose. Of course, the Krusty Bulls. Of course, the Krusty Bulls lose by 10 points? By 20 points? Man, this team sucks, dude. But Jimmy Butler didn't even play. Did Jimmy Butler play? Jimmy Butler didn't even play, dude. They suck. Bulls suck. Garbage. Trash. Letting Tyler Hero score on you. Of course. Of course. Colby Wright, 13 points. Of course. I knew he wouldn't be able to keep it up. DeMar DeRozan. I mean, he played okay, but nobody really took over. Nobody didn't. This team sucks, dude. I hate the Bulls. How do you lose the 20 points in a... Overpaid, overpaid trash, dude. <sighs> overpaid garbage, dude. How do you lose by 20 points in a in a play, essentially a playoff game? 20 points. Michael Jordan would never. 
That would never happen, dude. They, oh my god, I can't stand Bulls organization. They are. What are they doing? Suck. 20 point loss. You gotta be kidding me. Not even competitive. Just getting blown off the court by a 8th seed Heat team? They gotta re. We've been saying. We've been saying they've got to rebuild, and they're like, no, no, no. Like, literally, the Bulls have been in, we're not rebuilding for, like, 20 years. Like, they've never been rebuilding. Like, legitimately, the Bulls are in a perpetual state of, we're not going to rebuild. Like, for, like, the last, like, I would say, like, six years, they've been in, no, we're not rebuilding. But they suck every year. They either don't make the playoffs, or they flame out. They're good at the beginning, and they flame out towards the end, you know? Without they got beat by twenty without Butler. Is this, this is this a college team? Suck, dude. Completely suck. I'm done. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry about that outburst, guy. Uh, but that outburst, guys. Can I even speak? I love F7 Part Three. Uh, I love F7, but part three is getting a, uh, is getting cap at nine out of ten. No matter what, if Sephora doesn't kill off Chadley, yeah, Sephora's got to kill off Chadley. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button before we end the stream here. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream today. Thank you guys for being awesome. Um, I've got a brand new video up on Paper Mario, but I might delete it um, just because people are, do not like it, do not like the title of it. I think maybe they thought it was a stupid title, so I'm getting more dislikes. So um, I might delete it. Might not. We'll see. I might delete it. I might not. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I think so. I don't know if you guys even care about it like that. You guys aren't watching my channel for that, so I might delete it. I'll probably delete it. I'm going to delete it right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll put it up for members later. Um. So I'll work on that other video for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream. Check out my video where I talked about stuff that you guys did like. Because that one had an unusual amount of dislikes. Like, well under. So, I think you guys didn't like the title or something. So, um, check out my video on 30 best single player Switch games. What's up? Almost. Huh? Soon. Uh, like, four or five. No, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm finishing up. Um... My, my wife is fighting for her life with my with my son. <laughs> she, she's, she's fighting for her life. She's fight. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <She's fighting. laughs> that boy, man, he's he's a he's, he's a handful right now. All right, so um, uh, check out my most recent video or one of my most recent videos talking about um, Nintendo Switch uh, single player games, best single player games. That one, that video is doing really good. So. Check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Um, so I was getting ready to tag you in. <laughs> yeah, I got a tag, tag, tag team at this point. Thank you guys so much for the support tonight. Seriously, shout out to Big Justin. Huge $81 plus donated. Shout out to Party Man, Yoshi, David V, Big David V coming through, J2 Blue, JoJo Fridays was crazy, Shinru, JVB, Bad Scent, the cool guy. Thank you guys so much for the donos tonight. Seriously. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Joshio, thank you to all the members chatting too. Anthony Cooper, Darth Wesker, Rena Habog, thank you for the support. Big e uh, Aaron Raths with the big 10 members. Jacob Dressback, thank you guys so much. Christian Meworld, um, Rena, once again, Cristobal C, Jaden, Yoshi, Skylar G, Mujin, Yomi, J. Loomis. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love that we're ending on the Xenoblade Chronicles main theme. It's such a majestic, like, we know that this is something epic, you know? I love this track, man. Man, Model and Soft. We need a new Model and Soft game, man. We need it. We need it. We need a new Model and Soft game now. Do it, Model and Soft. Do it. Uh, but seriously, though, guys, thank you so much for the support. Check out my most recent uh, vids, too. I, I, even though I just deleted my last one. Check out my, my video where I did on um, Nintendo Switch in 2024. I did a video on that. Talked about One Piece. Talked about other stuff. We got RPG news that we did as well. So, uh, yeah. A lot of good stuff this week, guys. A lot of good stuff this week. So, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your support. So, yeah. 
Uh, hit the like button before you guys go. Uh, definitely hit that like button. Let them know that well, we were streaming here. And uh, I've been doing a good job of actually posting my videos to be live. Like if you want to watch the replay, like in your sub feeds. So I'll be doing that with this one too. Like as soon as it's done, I'll just be posting it live. So yeah, so good stuff all around. Good stuff, good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Justin ending the stream as the stream ninja. And um, the cool guy ending as the Hokage. Multiple JoJo's on JoJo Friday. Let's go. Aaron, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Shaw X, Thousand Year, J2, Ghost Fixer, Ruffle Mutt. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, well, Ruffle came in at the very end. Uh, Skyler G, appreciate you guys. Mizu, um, thank you guys for your support. I don't wear glasses, guys. I don't wear glasses. I have my, I don't wear, I, I, I don't, I'm not wearing contacts. Uh, those are just computer glasses. I have 2020 vision. So if I don't wear my glasses more often, it's because I don't need to wear glasses. It's just computer lenses to block out blue light. So keep that in mind. I don't wear like prescription glasses. So keep, keep that in mind. All right. So, um, Charles, Darren, sorry, I know it's all good, man. Thank, thanks for coming out to the stream, guys. Neil Blitz, JVB, appreciate you guys. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Spawncast pre-show. All right, love y'all. Peace.